Hey, welcome everybody to another, or actually our second part of VintageBreaks.com. In this part, we're going to start off with Lane's Loft. With me, as usual, on Wednesday afternoons, it is Soothing Lou. Hi, everyone. Did your light go out? You had a light on? No, no, that's my, my, my dark, empty nah. green room. Okay. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, and then I wait for the intro, and then, you know, and then I hop on over here. Oh, I see. So this is an all-access part of the Leighton's Loft. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining us. We are going to be going live on Leighton's Loft Show from uh, Facebook in any yep. minute. Lou, you just let me know when. Yes, I just want to tell everybody who's watching over here, we should probably mention it when we get going, too, that if they want to answer the questions to get involved today and also get involved in the drawing for the drawing for the seven prizes they should go to the Leighton's Loft Facebook page to drive everybody today watch party is still good for today I don't yeah. know if they're doing it's watch parties the last, the last time for them. this is the last time tomorrow it stops so yeah. today's the last day of watch parties Lou. oh okay so we'll have a last day watch party party yes all right yeah. let's do it all right hang on I'll get us started What's up, everyone? Welcome to Layton's Loft Show. I am here with Soothing Lou. How are you, buddy? I'm doing very well today. Looking forward to today's show. I've been looking forward to it. It's been a hard week. I've been looking forward to this show all yeah. week. Talk yeah. to me. What's going on? Oh, nothing. Nothing specific, and it would take too long. There's uh -oh. just a lot of things going on. But I love this group, and I love this show, and I just love hanging out with all the guys so and girls. Awesome. So I'm Has nothing to do with the Red Sox or anything, right? No, the Red Sox are actually going pretty good right now. They've won seven straight. They're leading this afternoon, last I checked. And after this, uh, last week you told me they started 0-3, right? And they haven't lost since. Look at that. Seven at that. straight. Just yep. when all the Red Sox fans were about to trash them yep. and throw them out the curb. You wouldn't have believed it here Yeah. Uh, yep. after the first series. You would not have believed And by the way, they deserved it after the first series too, but they played very well since. <laughs> What's By the up? way, they've won seven straight and have come back in five of those games. That's nice. Looks like we're going to be competing with the Red Sox, Dougie. Looks like it. Hi, Tom. How are you? What's up, Donald, Kevin, Andy, Kevin, Vastendelar, Orlando, James Goshaw, Jim Lambert. What's up, everybody? Troy Butts, Tom O'Connor's in the house, Lucas Lukasinski, Tyler. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Uh, we are going to be uh, doing the show without Lane Sheldon today because, unfortunately, he is at home, and he has some stuff to do. Oh. Um, but uh, he... Wait, is that that? I thought that was a problem. No, no, no. He just decided to take a day off today. You guess you are on the right feed. Good job. He decided to take a day off and leave me in charge, uh, which I am more than happy to do because the duo show of myself and Lou, I think we've only done it twice, right? We've done it a couple times, yeah. yeah. We've had good numbers. Yeah, we've had yeah, very good numbers. Like, Superseded any other way in Lost. <laughs> you know what? I don't think you're far wrong if you're wrong at all. We had one killer show. I know. I know. I know. So today we're actually going to try and raise the bar above that loop. Yep. We're going to have some. Go get your friends. Go and this is the last day for the watch party, and that's on Facebook. It's not us. Facebook is taking it away. Yes. So this is the last chance you have to get a double entry and watch party. We'll start doing shares next week. Uh, but set up your watch party. Go get some friends. Bring them in. We want to show Leighton some really big numbers. We want to make him jealous. No. <laughs> want to have some really big numbers. So go get your friends and bring them in. And I'll get you two entries into the uh, prize giveaway, seven of them, as we do on every show. But we have a separate prize package today as well. Yes, we do. Um, so before and I... We have another promotion going on, too. So we get a lot going on in the show. Yes. This is going to be a, a first time for a couple of things here. Um before I get to the prizes, I just want to mention that Dougie Fresh is keeping track of all the entries. If you guys started a wash party, like Lou said, today is officially the last day we're doing wash parties because it's being disabled by Facebook tomorrow. 
Um, so nobody will be able to get two entries anymore after today. Um, and oh, uh, no, 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 we're gonna do shares instead. I think oh, we'll talk about it. But whatever we'll we come over, yeah, 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 we'll we'll talk yeah. about it. Um, but Dougie is keeping track, and at the end of the show, we're gonna randomize that list. The top seven are going to get prizes. First place is going to get a fifty dollar break credit to vintagebreaks.com. Nice. Second through fourth are going to get 1970 Tops Baseball set break spots. That is live on our website. A chance to win that Thurman Munson rookie card. Um, the captain. AKA the captain. And then fifth and seventh will all get, fifth through seventh will get BAM spots. And Lou, BAMs is short for a Broken Maniacs bonus. Ooh. And yep. that's a chance for one of you guys to win $1,500 in break credit. Wow. That random will happen on May 16th, Sunday night, shortly after 10 p.m. Eastern Time. The first person after the random will get $1,500 in break credit to use. Uh, on our website, you'll have a 30-day uh, expiration date on it. So, uh, cool prizes, but... For the first time you need ever. To teach me all these things so that when everyone starts going after Layton for me to start breaking, then you know I'll know I'll know all this stuff. Oh, go. don't worry, I'm gonna give you a tutorial. It's gonna be a hands-on FaceTime. We're gonna go over everything. Don't worry. Excellent. I'm, I'm gonna show you all the tricks of the trade. Um, you'll be learning from the best, and that is J5. That's um, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at Sam as I say that. Uh, also. For the first time ever, I think, Lou, am I wrong? We're going to be doing, as you can see from the background of Lou's cam there, yes. Seinfeld trivia. Yes. That's that started last time. week. I, for the last two or three weeks, John, I've been watching. I decided to watch the Seinfeld series from end to end, so I bin binged it for like two plus weeks. Just watch awesome. all nine seasons end to end. And uh, uh, a piece of information came up in one of the episodes and I said that would be a perfect trivia question for Leighton's oh. Lock and I actually wrote it down Okay. and, and then Leighton and I talked about it last week on the show and it turned into this whole uh, trivia party for tonight so we're going to we're gonna ask uh, I, get, I get six questions here, did we decide on six? Six or uh, yeah, six is fine yep, six is fine and then there'll be all the people who answer that correctly and you have to answer it on the Layton's Law Facebook page and by the way if you haven't liked the page yet go over and like it when you go over there you have to answer on that page and uh, the six qualifiers will be put together in a you know for a prize right yes we'll randomize that list later on in the show um, and the first person on top is going to get Sam what did we agree on that the first place prize was for the Seinfeld trivia mm -hmm. a vintage breaks t-shirt Vintage Breaks t-shirt. Uh, just let us know your size. Uh, we, I think we have up to... Hi, Steven. Triple XL? Three. Three XL. We have up to three XL. But no so, Keith Hernandez card because J5 I, shut me down. Nope. I just don't have any. <laughs> He's got an issue with uh, Keith Hernandez that I'm, I'm unaware of. <laughs> uh -huh. But well, not only that... A mental card hanging around? Who's? A Mickey Mantle card hanging around? Or? Oh, yeah, sure. I got Mickey Mantle cards all over the, <laughs> the office here. Yeah, sure, of course. Um, but not only a Vintage Breaks t-shirt, but also a band spot. A chance to win $1,500. Nice. So yep. that is a, a group prize. Um, we're going to award that to one of you Seinfeld Trivia uh, participants. So start it off, Lou. Why don't we just do one right now? And let's see who gets the first entry into this. Uh, okay. Contest. Here's the thing, though. You have to answer on the Layton's Law Facebook page. So I'm going to give you a second to get over there. Uh, Layton's Law Facebook page. Uh, get over there. A couple, uh, cu couple other outlets you can get on the Vintage Breaks page that th that has the full screen view of Layton's Law, or the um, Vintage Breaks YouTube. I think will take comments too. But if you want to be sure, the Layton's Law Facebook page. The feeds are different on everybody's computer, can be different on everybody's computer. And I'm working on the feed that's right in front of me. So if your answer came up before somebody else on your feed, it's possible that it got to me differently because we're dealing with several different servers and several different platforms and it's coming in different ways. So my screen is the determining screen. So please, no hard feelings, everybody, All right? All right. All right, so this first question, it can have two levels of difficulty, John. Do you want me to make it really difficult? 
Uh, like just relatively easy. Re relatively easy. Okay. Other than the four main characters on Seinfeld, other than the four main characters on Seinfeld, which character appears the most in the series? Okay, good question. Guys, other we're going to get all the winners for all these six questions. We're going to randomize the list. First person on top will get a Vintage Breaks t-shirt and a band spot. Yep. So other than the four main characters, which character appears the most? Uh, <laughs> you got to go with... Hang on. Oh, the waitress. That's funny, but they're all different waitresses. I'm going to go with James Gottsall here, even oh. though he misspelled it. Wait, which is the answer? Uh, Newman. That's right. Oh, hello, Newman. Have any idea how many episodes he appeared on? That would have made it really difficult. That's really hard. <laughs> That's really hard. I mean, how many episodes total? Was there uh, a thousand episodes? No, there wasn't a thousand. I, I want to say 20 or 23 a, a year for for uh, nine years. So 108, 200 episodes, maybe? Oh, I thought it was a thousand. I'm approaching right. 200 episodes. Okay. So it was. let's just say it's, it's 200 episodes. He probably showed up for uh, 150, I'm thinking. 47. 47 oh, episodes. That's it. Oh. He appeared. Yep. All right. Well, I mean, that's that's big. I mean, that's a a part almost, you know, for the, John, yeah. 100, 173 yep. episodes. 173 total episodes yes. in nine okay. seasons. Yes. Yep. And he and he showed up on how many? 47. That's that's good. That's a good amount. He was a very yeah. it was a favorite character. He was and he was very, the most secondary character other than the four main characters. He's the one who showed up the most. Oh, yeah, I believe it. Uh, yeah, yep. definitely. I, I love when he showed up. <laughs> On the question of the multiple choice, they had Putty on there and Frank Costanza and. Uh, oh, yeah, Putty. Putty and uh, uh, Peterman, Jay Peterman. That's right, another good one. Yeah. Uh, so, Lou, one other thing I want to mention today. Uh, yeah. So, that's the first uh, Seinfeld trivia questions. Another first we're doing today, we are actually right now live on the website, everybody. We have our Wheel of Breakage. Now, yeah. some of you will have no idea what that means, and our regulars know what that is. So our, our wheel of breakage, Lou, is we have a bunch of panels and a digital wheel that we can do it right here in front of you. And guys, we're curious, sound and everything. If you spend $50 at VintageBreaks.com, you are going to get a wheel spin. At 5 o'clock, anybody who buys in, I'm going to do a nice handful of wheel spins live on Layton's Loft on the Layton's Loft show, which we have never done before. Wow, never done. So, Lou, how it works is in these panels, it can include break credit, it can include bonus spots, separate spots, but there's one, only one, hot hit panel. Yeah. In this hot hit panel, there is first come first serve. So we have several options for you guys to choose from we have a 250 dollar break credit to vintagebreaks.com nice. mm -hmm. we have a i don't know if we can show off the screen here lou so i can sure. show off this off real quick let me turn this on there we go we have a mariano rivera the best closer i think in the in, in all of baseball all of baseball uh autograph ticket it's a full ticket him or rec but yeah him <laughs> and it's <laughs> from a, a toronto blue jays thursday night game on september 20th 2012 and it is authenticated by psa dna that is one of the options we also have a 1994 update frank thomas rookie hall of fame card psa 10 nice among other of that, we have uh, gaggles or separate spots. Um, we basically just want to try something that uh, something new on the show. And I think, let me give you, how can I give you, hold on. Let me see if I can give you a preview. Here we go. There you go. There's the wheel. Yep. There is the wheel. All I have to do is click on it and it will uh, spin the wheel real quick. Should I do like a test run? Yeah, go right ahead. We won't have sound on this end because if we have sound, all of this will start looping back. We'll have all kinds of issues. So. Really? Yeah, when we pop back up to the screen where we have it on there for the uh, Vintage Breaks feed. Oh, okay. Well, yep. well here we go. Look, here. This is how it works. Yeah. 
and the person will get a 250 bonus spot. This is a chance to win a Teddy Williams card PSA 4. It's a 250 high roller spot. So this is how it works. And it is, I'm, I'm at five o'clock. I'm gonna go through the list, do a handful of uh, spins, so people know what they get. That mm -hmm. wheel is gonna last until six thirty p.m. So that's after the Lane Loft show. Okay. So um, this is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be fun. So how do people get involved again? They have to do. They have to make the purchase during this half hour. Yes, the people that make purchase until five o'clock at this point. Until five o'clock, we will do the wheel spins live on the show. Nice, and they go to Vintage Breaks to do this purchase. Yes, VintageBreaks.com. Mm -hmm. Sam is keeping track of the purchases, and then he'll email me a list, and we'll go through there. So um, go get it done. Make sure you go get it done before six o'clock, so you can get in one uh, before um, five five o'clock, so you can actually four fifty-eight or something like that, so we can collect the name. So just don't mess around. Go over and get your purchase done. Exactly. So with that said, let's do our second trivia question, Lou. Okay. Everybody ready? Uh, who was the? What was the name of the landlord in Jerry's building? Oh, I remember him. Yes, yes, yeah. I can remember. Him. Not on too many episodes. Maybe, maybe even only one. What was the name of the landlord in Jerry's building? <laughs> oh my man, I will never get that one. Anthony Corbin got it. It's Silvio, and he spelled it wrong too. <laughs> Silvio. <laughs> I know what he meant. Anthony Corbin. Okay, Anthony Corbin, got it right? Yep. Silvio, was it, that was his actual name, Silvio? Yep. That's Scott Corbin. Yeah, I know. I, do, I, you know, I can't even put a face on it. I can't yeah, put a face on the landlord. One, I've been watching enough to know. There's only he? one episode, was the episode where Jerry wore the fur coat. Oh, my goodness. Newman was, Newman was uh, banging Silvio's wife there. <laughs> <laughs> Too in the middle of it. Oh, uh, I do remember that episode. I, yes, uh, he was a little bit overweight. He had a mustache. He was balding, right? He was balding. Yeah, Anthony prepared for this by reading some random quiz questions. <laughs> <laughs> Chef, do you get one spin per fifty dollars? Yes, every fifty dollars you spend gets you a spin. Ooh! So if you spend a hundred dollars at checkout, you get two spins. So on and so on. <laughs> Cody, spoiler alert. I'm sorry if you haven't seen the Seinfeld series by now. <laughs> you deserve a spoiler. So what is what do you think? And by the way, everybody out there, what do you think, uh, J five, the uh grace period is for spoiler? The grace period for what? On anything. This came up during Game of Thrones when we were watching Game of Thrones and I was doing a daily show at that point and uh we were just forbidden to talk. It was on Sunday nights, and we were trying to figure out when we could legitimately talk about the show without giving away spoilers. And we kind of were debating how long you have to wait before you give out spoilers because it's so different now. Everyone's watching on demand. Sure, and sure. Every, with Game of Thrones, not everybody watched on Sunday night. We finally decided on Thursday for some arbitrary reason. All bets are off on Thursday. Um, I had the same issue with Game of Thrones, but for us, it was a Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday yeah. Monday, because obviously, you know, Mondays is a good catch up day. Tuesday, you're busy Monday. Sure, you're watching on Tuesday. A week. Dougie says a week, a week but the, you're. Because, well, I mean, there's the work week. Let them, let them catch up. At least yeah. a chance to. And if not. Right. I don't know. That's too long for me. <laughs> All right. What about shows? Game of Thrones was on every Sunday night. What about shows that put out a whole season and you can watch the whole season? Oh, that's, that's tougher. If, yeah. you, if you could binge watch it, I mean, I, uh, that I will give you like a week. I'll give you a week if it just came out. You could, I mean, two weeks, maybe two weeks. Because <laughs> that's a lot of binge watching, especially depending on, on yeah. the show. Is it half an hour? Is it an hour? It's tough to in the internet. Age. And then how many episodes total? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So for me, I would say probably two weeks if it's a, a show to binge. Yeah, Kevin's with you. Two weeks. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Jim says, "Don't ruin the ending of Dances with Wolves." <laughs> <laughs> By the way, a very good movie, a very good two-hour movie. Unfortunately, Dances with Wolves was two hours and twenty minutes long. <laughs> they should have just ended the movie without the last twenty minutes of the. I, I, kind of, I don't really remember it the whole entire movie. Yeah, it was I, Kevin Costner. Yeah, you would have been young. Yeah, Kevin Costner. I just I don't remember what the premise. They was committed like. the cardinal sin. Uh, do you remember the movie I Am Legend? With uh, Will Smith, 
Iron Legend? Oh, I Am Legend. Yeah. Yes, he, I Am Legend, yes. He was the last surviving guy, and what ruined that movie, what was probably a decent movie, what ruined it, it was the dog got killed, right? Yeah. Okay. And everybody hates the movie because the dog got killed. Okay. Well, in Dances with Wolves, he falls in love with this woman in a tribe, and he's a cavalry guy who's out in the middle of the Midwest, and he goes over to the tribe, and he hangs out with them for a while, and he falls in love with the woman and marries her or whatever, and the tribe picks up and leaves because of the continuing encroachment of the Europeans. Mm -hmm. So they're riding out of the camp, and the movie is done. The movie is done there. There is nothing else they had to do except he forgot something. He had to go back to his camp. And when he did, his dog and his horse got killed, and a whole thing happened. And it's like that was the last twenty minutes of him going back. That was the last twenty minutes, yeah, of him wow. going back, and, and the horse and the dog get killed. <laughs> <laughs> they were they were riding out. All the all the tribe was riding out together. The the movie was over. They could have wow. just been there, and it'd have been done. <laughs> Sean Dewey. Uh, no, no, hold on. Where I am legend, the dog died like in the middle of the movie, though. right? Yes. So that that gave motivation for him to get mad and do all this other stuff. But, well, I, that would be the party line, but there was no reason to kill the dog. There was no reason. It was a gratuitous pet death in that in that movie. Yeah, I can see that too. Um, <laughs> but I enjoyed like the last part of it, where she he just trapped himself in there and yeah. knocked out everybody with the explosion. That <laughs> that the movie should have ended right there, I think, and it would have been great. But they I'm shot sorry, the last Nick. part of him of them walking into the camp and I'm sorry, Nicholas. The statute of limitations for spoilers on I Am Legend is long gone. Or or Dances with the Wolves is long gone too. Oh yeah, that that's definitely gone. Um <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that, that's a good question about Grace Period. Um yeah. No. Yeah, it's tough. Especially it's... here we go live every day and, and we watch yeah. the shows and we wanna talk about it but we can't. Yep. So that's why we get those certain you know All right. Uh third Seinfeld trivia question. Okay. And this one, you won't be able to get this by uh, by just doing a random trivia. But uh, on on Kramer's 100th entrance into Jerry's apartment, his 100th entrance, he utters an iconic line in the series, tell me what it was. What did Kramer say on his 100th entrance into Jerry's apartment? An iconic line. Yes. I have an idea. I just don't know if it is or not. Yeah. It's not even, to me, it's not even words. It's just like a get, get something. Oh, Gus got it. Gus? Yep. He slammed the money on the table, said, I'm out. I'm out of the contest. <laughs> I remember that episode. <laughs> that was the 100th episode. Uh, oh, him that actually was, going into the door. That was his 100th entrance. Wow. Into, uh, into Jerry's apartment. And, of course, his famous sliding entrance was because he was late for a cue on one scene that was being shot and came in like that and it became a running joke. So he just, he just kept doing it and kept expanding upon it. Wow. That's good. <laughs> now, when you binge watch this, it was it from yeah. like a, a Blu-ray or is it just like a Netflix? No, it's on Hulu. It's on Hulu. Okay. On Hulu, yeah. And it was not... about three weeks. I didn't completely binge watch it, but we, we were just watching, uh, we were watching Seinfeld randomly for weeks and finally we just said, let's just watch the thing front to end. And I was so impressed with it, sitting down and watching it again. I mean, it's just brilliant. It's really well done. Yes, it's one yeah. of those. Now, what, what did you think of the ending? Uh, yeah. You know, my thing about endings with series is only one series I've ever watched has done an ending well. I don't think it's possible to do it well. Breaking I've Bad? Seen... No. no. Did you see The Ranch on uh, Netflix the with Ashton Kutcher? No. Yeah, that was about, I don't know if that was four or five seasons, maybe six, and... Uh, uh, they did a really good ending, but it's tough to end the series. They did it. They made it about nothing, which is essentially what it should have been about. Right now, did you see Breaking Bad? I did see Breaking Bad. Yes. The ending I thought was pretty good. Um, because we all knew what was going to happen. We all knew yeah, the end game. Yeah. How else could they, there's nothing else they could do, right? No, that's it. It was just to go out with a bang, pretty much. Had to end that way, right? And let's not spoil it for every, anybody who wants to. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's gone. That that grace period for that is gone. I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What's your favorite series of all time? What's the one you miss the most? If you could bring it back, uh, The Office. Oh, The Office. Uh, yeah. Parks and Recreation. Yep. Um, uh, 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 I'm trying well, to think of a drama action. 
Ted says Wal uh, Walter White is not dead. So we get a conspiracy theory going on. Oh, he's gone. He has to be. Uh, I'm trying to think of another I could, um, like, like a drama action. Uh, I'm trying to think. I was big in the West Wing. I like the West Wing a lot. Oh, my God. I binge watched the West Wing. Yeah. Just uh, during the pandemic. Yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah. I, I, I really wanted more. I really did want more at the end. I just uh, even, the the last couple seasons weren't great, but you just just missed the whole cast and the whole scene of it. Yeah, I mean, to me, the last two seasons when they brought in the new presidential candidate, um, I I liked it. I enjoyed it because I, I, it like it, it freshened up the series. Yep. Um, that's the only reason I liked it. But I did want more. So West Wing, definitely, I wish they brought back. But, uh, no, they... Rick, I, I didn't get into Curb Your Enthusiasm, but uh, after I got through rewatching Seinfeld, I said I've got to get into this and got to watch it because Larry David is a genius. It was just yeah. Seinfeld was good end to end, and so I'm going to give him a chance. <laughs> I know there's a, a Friends uh, comeback movie or something, a reunion movie. Friends was another big one. Like that. It, so many watchers during the last like episode. Reunion, so. Yeah, they're uh, supposed to be coming back. Yeah, yeah, a little reunion show they have. Uh, Umbrella Academy. Oh, have you watched that on, on it's on Netflix? Yes. No, nope, I haven't watched that. <clears throat> it's a good show too. But um, I've watched the boys. Have you watched the boys? Oh, such a great show. <laughs> such a great show. I can't wait for season three. Yep. Oh, it's so good. Very, uh, you know, very graphic. Um, good yep. twists makes you think <laughs> it's hard to it's it's hard to watch and that's the fun part of it it's just sometimes it's just hard to watch yes if you guys have not seen the boys on amazon prime uh it, as long as you're okay with graphic like core like hard like, it's it's really hardcore graphics like yeah yeah but you get used to it pretty quickly yeah, but... there's a lot of gore in it but um uh, trivia question let's do another trivia question Lou. Uh, Chris says, for me, Lou, I want the original Law and Order back. NBC committed a crime themselves over the way they killed the series with so many plot lines unfinished. Were there overarching plot lines in Law and Order? I never, I never watched Law and Order. I, I knew they it. were on like every week. Cause... I would like House back. I enjoyed House. Oh, the House? Yeah, House is great. Yeah, yeah House is great. All right, this is uh, kind of a two-part. Um, you have to know how many seasons Seinfeld ran for, which is pretty common knowledge, but... Uh, what I want to know is why did Jerry say he ended the season after that many seasons? So you have to give me the number of seasons that it ran and the reason Jerry uh, cited for uh, stopping the show after that many seasons. That I think I know the answer to. Yep. What's up, David? What's up, Tom? Yeah. Tyler? Welcome. Jim, right years, but wrong reason. Yeah, that's a good one. Sammy, do we have any entries? Mm -hmm. You want to email me that list, please? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's <laughs> looking, getting into the court case. Oh, that's a good answer. You're warm. Clever, clever bot. Uh, the 2019 Court Kings boss will probably do today if it sells out. I don't know if it did or not. Um, if you're looking for the previous one, we did break it. I think that was Tuesday. Yesterday? Yeah, we broke it yesterday. 20, uh, box five. Mm -hmm. What's that? Okay. Oh, this, the, uh, uh, Rocco is not correct? Nope. I thought that was it. Nope. Oh. Okay, nine is the amount of years, but we're looking for the reason that he cited that he stopped the uh, show after nine years. Yeah, I really thought that was the answer. And I'll have, I'll, I'll give a hint because no one's got it at this point. It's about another breakup. Another breakup. Yep. Man, you got me on that one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let this one go for a while. See if someone comes up with it. All right. Meanwhile, uh, Sam has given me a list of wheel spins. Ah, Jim got it. Jim Lammers got it. Jerry broken up after nine seasons because he said after nine years the Beatles broke up. Really? Yep. That's the reason? Oh, he was joking, of course. He was just <laughs> trying to throw everybody off course. But... That's fine. And he was supposedly offered $110 million for that for another season and turned it down. And he could have. 
He could have. He oh, could have, yeah. He could have gone. It wasn't old. Like West Wing at the end. West Wing at the end I thought was a little worn out. But... Yeah. Oh, the first two seasons of West Wing, though, was... Oh, oh yeah. So good. Um, all right. So, uh, I'm sorry. Who was the winner of that? That was uh, Jim Lammers. Jim Lammers. All right. That's our third person. Fourth? Fourth, fourth yep. Fourth. We got a fourth person. I got James uh, Gorsal, gotcha. Anthony Corbin, Gus Tanglis. If I'm pronouncing all these correctly, and Jim Lammers. Okay, nice. Sam, is it um, Stephen G first or is it Brett Hudak first? Stephen G. So you put it in the right order for him? Okay, great. Yeah, because sometimes it does it. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. Who are you talking to? All right, so Lou. Yeah, James, that is a good show. I enjoy it. I'm going to bring up the wheel. Oh, Christopher talks about the John Spencer death in the middle of West Wing. Leo's death. Oh, that was season six. Yeah, I forget which season. It sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, no, that was, oh, man. That was hard. He's such a good actor. <laughs> and then, I don't know why Rob Lowe left for a couple of seasons. I think he just wanted to do other things, I guess. Yeah, I'm not sure. That, yeah, it was just yeah. lack of interest. And then they brought him back for the last season. Yep. Uh, okay, Lou, I have the wheel up. It's 5 okay. o'clock. There it is. Oh, Ted went big. Good for you, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> so, Stephen, is that Stephen Garrett? Sam? Yeah. Is that Stephen Garrett? Stephen G? Yeah. Just making sure. So, Stephen Garrett gets the first spin. All right, so I'm going to uh, randomize the wheel here. I'm going to keep track of what everybody gets. All right, here we go. Stephen Garrett, uh, good luck. I wish there were sound, Lou. You heard the clicking. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> So Stephen Garrett gets a five dollar break credit to VintageBreaks nice. dot com. Christopher, what series do you have on DVD, Christopher? Five. West Wing or Seinfeld? On DVD. Yeah, Christopher says he has the entire series on DVD and has almost every episode memorized. Uh, I'm guessing uh, talking about Seinfeld. But. Uh, I'm pretty sure Seinfeld. West Wing, yeah. I just binge watched it on HBO Max. Sh all right, Chef, you get five spins, Chef. Here we go. Good luck. Chef gets a BAM spot. Nice. BAM spot for Chef. Another spin. Look at that. A 1970 Taos baseball separate spot. Nice. Mixing it up. I like it. Oh, no, Christopher says the West Wing. God. The West Wing. Now I want to huh? go back and watch it. <laughs> it's still fresh in my mind. BAM oh. spot again for Chef. So many scenes I can just quote from that series. Yeah. Five dollar break credit for Chef. And this is Chef's last fan. Good luck, Chef. A five dollar break credit. So all this break credit, Luke, gets added up and then give it to him. Yep. In his dashboard. And Brad Hudak. Brad, good luck, man. Get that high hit. Good luck, Brad. It's a five dollar break credit. All right, so that is where we're gonna leave off with the wheel. With the wheel. Can we extend it for fifteen minutes? Oh yeah, we we'll keep going. Sam, we're gonna extend it for another fifteen minutes. Extend what? The wheel spin. So after Brad Hudak, anybody else who's in, just you can email me. If yeah, it's... like I said earlier, we're gonna do the about ready. Okay, cool. They're going to do another batch. All right. All right. All right. To question number five, this one's easy. It's easy for everybody. What was Kramer's one line in the Woody Allen movie? What was Kramer's one line of... Oh, uh, I remember line? the episode. What was Kramer's one line of dialogue in the Woody Allen movie? I can't remember the exact line, but if I if I see it, I will guess it right. <laughs> Just waiting for uh... no, Tom. That's not it. Not nuts. 
<laughs> oh, there we go. Rick Lucian's got it. These pretzels, pretzels are, are making, making me thirsty. thirsty. That is correct. Oh, Ken had it too, but Rick had it in first. I'm sorry. No, who, who had it first? Rick Lucian. Rick Lucian. Rick Lucian got it first. All right. And then the next question in a minute or two is going to be the question that actually started all this when I found out this fact on Seinfeld. Okay. That this will make a great loft question. Oh, that's right. Okay. I am excited about this question. You want to do it now? We want to. Yeah, yeah, I want to do it now. Them. I'm going to go into it. Let's you go. want to do it now? Yeah. Okay. Here's the final question, the final entrance into the giveaway here. Uh, what was George Costanza's middle name? <laughs> I don't know the answer to that question. Yeah. I, I saw it on an episode and I said, I, this is what started all this. I said, this is a great trivia question for the loft. And actually, going through it, it's said twice in the show. They It'll tell you what the name is. Yep. Oh, uh, Jim got it. Jim Lennon's. It's Lewis. Wow. George yeah. Lewis Costanza. Yep. Where I saw it was the Frogger episode where he's trying to save the high score on the Frogger machine in their old pizza shop. Yes, yes. And the initials of GLC. And then as I went back and started watching the beginning of the show again, um, uh, four or five episodes in, he's referred to as George Lewis Costanza. Wow. Yep. The problem is that, you, ha you know, after a while you see all these episodes, you just forget yep. the little things. A lot of people got that one, though. That's a good one. That's a good one. Does anyone know middle? I don't know if it ever came up middle names of any of the other characters. So if anyone's got that, let me know. So, Lou, what I want to do is I actually want to break a pack. Okay. And I'm going to turn this off real quick. Turn the wheel off. We're going to be breaking an 85 WWF pack number 181. Nice. As you know, WrestleMania just uh mm -hmm. happened last week and dougie fresh who who won the uh the big uh, big fight at the end it was the main event which was edge daniel bryan and roman reigns and roman reigns retained the universal championship it's now called the universal championship? there's two so the universal championship is on smackdown okay and then there's the wwe championship which is on raw so this one was for the universal yes now wrestling wise Roman Reigns is awful. Well, how are the uh, how is uh, he's actually not that awful. No, he's awful. <laughs> Sorry, okay, he's awful. But the wrestling itself, how was it? It was very good. Yeah, yeah, all right, good. That's what I like to see. I like to see a good it was, wrestling match. Yeah, like, it, was, it was the best match of Sunday night. Okay. Jim had a good trivia question for uh, Steinfeld. How about the year and the box and the brand of baseball cards on the top of Jerry's fridge? That would be very appropriate. The year of the box and brand. Yeah. Jim, wow. let us know. That I do not know. Oh, Elaine was Marie. Elaine Marie Bennett? Yes, Marie. Right. Yes, yes. Someone said Jerry's middle name was Ivan, but I don't know. I have a problem buying that. Is that anyone can anyone verify that? That I cannot verify. Nineteen nine oh nineteen nineties Donruss baseball. Really? That's what was on Jerry's fridge. 1990 Donruss baseball box. Interesting. That's like, that's deep trivia. I can't really? mess with that. That's deep. Really is. Uh, okay. So here we go, Lou. I'm going to start off this break. Yep. This so no, no um, Keith Hernandez card. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have any Keith Hernandez cards. <laughs> uh, this is for a 1985 WWF Pack 181. I'm going to randomize the list. Good luck to everyone in this break. We got Gabriel Lascano, John Tarrant Jr., Travis Richardson, Daniel Gogol. As a six on the random, uh, I think it's this one. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You know, it was one, like, wow. One of the best endings of, a, of a, one of the shows in Seinfeld um, Lou? Which one? Uh, oops, that's the wrong one. It's uh, when George and his fiance were in, were in the police station 
and oh, his yeah. dad has to come and get him out, and yep. Elaine was there. They end up punching each other at the end. <laughs> it's like, you want a piece of me? The best finish, though, was the George Marine Biologist uh, episode. Oh, that's another good one. Yeah, yes. He pulls the golf ball out of the spout hole. The yeah, whales. Yeah. <laughs> and he holds the ball like that's a hole they want? <laughs> <laughs> Is it a no? Kramer goes. Is it the Titleist? Oh, that's, that's right. Is it a Titleist? That's right. <laughs> Daniel Gogol, first one right here in the front. Uh, still funny. You could still watch that anytime, and that scene is still funny. Oh, there's so many classic episodes. So good. <laughs> and even my kids, every time an episode comes on, they all look at me and go, This is the one with, and they name the two or three plot lines. It's so funny. Wow. Uh, okay, we're gonna show it off with anybody good enough to meet me. Meet me it is Hulk Hogan. Which, Hulkster. if you guys know, we are looking for the card number one of Hulk Hogan. That card is going for a lot of money, Lou. Dougie, How much money? What's a, a nine and a ten going for right now of Hulk Hogan number one card for eighty-five top stuff? I know number ten recently sold for eighteen thousand. Uh, PSA nine. I'd have to look at that one. So did you hear that, Lou? Yes. A, a lot PSA of money. ten. The last one went for eighteen thousand dollars. Yep. It's another Hulk Hogan card. Wrong kind of music. <laughs> for Gabriel Lascano. It's so it's so amazing the prices of cards. Oh yeah. And then on twentieth Tops's NFT cards are coming out? I signed up for my three pack. Wow. Here's uh, Mr. Fuji, Hall of Famer, right? Mr. Fuji is a Hall of Famer. What's up? Mr. Fuji. He's Hall of Famer. Famer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's for Travis. Spot four. Is that Doug? Is Doug our expert on the uh, Wrestling Hall of Fame? Yes, yes. He is my go-to guy. He's my Wikipedia of wrestling. Mm -hmm. Smash on the knee. This is for John Tur Jr. I think that's... Uh, Greg Valentine, yep, Greg Valentine. Spot five, this is the sticker. It is of Hulk Hogan. Believe it or not, Lou, the stickers also go for good money. Oh, I bet, yeah. This is uh, number 22 of Hulk Hogan. This is for Daniel Gogol. Spot six, up in the air with Brutus Beefcake, card 26. I've interviewed Brutus Beefcake, yeah. Now, uh, Lou, you said you have more trivia questions, correct? I might be able to pull some more up. Yeah? Yeah. Because I think, because I just, I'm enjoying this. It is all like bringing back memories of Seinfeld. <laughs> 27, all tied up with Big John Stud. A guy that I used to do a daily show with, a sometimes co-host, was um, actually on uh, wrestling live from the Boston Garden as John Cena's Little League coach. Get out of here. Yeah, he's a local wrestler. I mean, he ended up on 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 as a, like I said, as a John Cena's Little League coach. That's pretty cool. Wow, that's awesome. Oh. Wow. Guess what I just pulled. <laughs> you got Hulk. Oh, oh, no. You got the Hulk. Guess oh, what I just God. pulled. On spot nine for Gabriel Lascano. Wow. The number one card in the set. Oh, God. Second nice. Second to last. Hulk Hogan. Let me take a look at the centering of this card, Lou. Let me take a look at the centering of this card. Hold on. Wow. Dougie. Yeah, wow. Nice. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Gabriel Lascano, check out card number one in the set. Your Hulk Hogan. Rookie. Uh, wow, that's, rookie card. Is it rookie? That yes, centering rookie. looks that's damn rookie, good, doesn't that's it? That's pretty close to DN, sorry. That is pretty close to dead, not center, Lou. Yeah. Holy cow. This is a belt as it is. James brings up a good point. Did the belt just change hands? Uh, I'll, actually, I had the belt. Oh, you <laughs> have the belt. <laughs> yep, I had the belt, so basically I just uh, defended it by myself. Nice. 
Gabriel Lascano, that is Hulk Hogan, number one card. I would tell you to get it graded by PSA, but they're suspended on uh, all their <laughs> services. Uh, Bradley, any print defects or fish eyes? I do not see any. Tom says nine at worst. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, in the back, uh, it's a, you know, like a little... Like a little, I don't know what that is. It's like a little blemish right there, but I don't know what that is. 302 pounds from Venice, California. The Hulkster. Very nice. Live on Layton's Loft Show, we pulled a amazing Hulk Hogan card. A, the last nine sold for how much, Dougie? 2500 And the last 10 sold for? $18,000. $18,000 in a PSA 10. Let me see the back again. Chef says the back back might be off. And yeah, maybe a little left to right. Yeah, it has like a little minor tilt. Yeah, minor tilt. But that is beautiful. It's a nine minimum. Yeah, yeah at worst, it's a nine. Gorgeous. And that was the card before the wax stain. On spot, this is spot 10. Someone's going down. Jesse, the body of Ventura for Daniel Gogol. Governor Jesse, the That's body of right. Ventura. And this one does have a wax stain right here. So if that was the last card, Hulk Hogan would have been um, had a qualifier of being stained. Stained. Wow, that's a big moment right there. Live on Layton's Loft Show, pulled a beautiful Hulk Hogan rookie card. Man, what a break. What a break! See, I've got some, I got some juice going here. I was here for the mantle. I was here for a couple Gretzky rookies. Yeah, uh, yeah. Wait, a couple? Or I think two. Yeah, one? maybe one, but I think I thought two. Because you definitely were for the only selling out Opeachy Gretzky rookie we pulled. Okay. We have not been able to pull another one, so it's an epic, epic break. So um, maybe I got a little mojo going on here. I think so too. <laughs> Let me. Uh, <laughs> we should do. We should do, man for hitting that. We should do a trivia question wrestling. Okay. Dougie, Dougie come up with that. Yep, yeah, Dougie, give me a wrestling trivia question. Okay. The winner who gets it right on Layton's Loft show on the Facebook chat will get a band spot. Oh man. The power of Lou. Yes, Orlando. Is that Jericho? <laughs> he's got uh, Orlando. Yeah, he's got Jericho as his uh, Facebook picture. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, lots of eighties. Ron gets to Lou. Uh -uh. Lou's doing another show when you're not looking. J five. <laughs> no. What I'm you really pulling on? <laughs> Sean Dewey. Uh, okay, so. While well, Ducky gets a trivia question ready, Lou, do you have a, another Seinfeld yeah. trivia question? Yes. Go ahead. Go for it. Who was Sid and what was his job? Sid? Yeah. Who was Sid and what was his job Sid. on Seinfeld? What's up, Chris Tickner? No PSA reveals, Chris. Nothing yet. The last one I got was two weeks ago. Are they still in business? Do we know? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, they're still in business. They're actually still doing in breaks? Business. I mean, doing uh, grading? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're just trying to catch up. As we Sid. Mario, uh, no, uh, who have I got? I got uh, Brandon Miller with the winner here on this one. Brandon Close Miller. Cars. Yep. Brandon Miller said Parks Cars. That's it. Yeah, Sid was the, was he the valet? No, he was the guy who was switching parking the cars on alternate sides this was the um oh yes yes this is on the woody allen episode two and then woody allen uh the film got uh film got delayed because george was parking the cars for the week and he screwed it all up <laughs> <laughs> oh remember that episode lou um it's a bra for men <laughs> introducing <Yes>. the bro <laughs> <laughs> uh you know what I like to do? I like to break a pack with Seinfeld, Jerry Seinfeld. 
Were there Seinfeld sure. cards ever? I mean, he had a 90 Dharma's box on top of his fridge, I'm sure. sure. No, 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 no. I mean, for the series. Oh, did he ever what? So were there non-sports cards? Was, they, was there Seinfeld trading cards? I believe so. Oh, I'm, were there? I'm pretty sure. Or they had to be. He was that, that show was too popular not to have. I could be wrong. Maybe they didn't, they didn't give the license to. Yeah. I could be wrong, but... Want to do another one? Uh, sure. Manzir. Was it the Manzir? The, yeah, I think so. That was one of the other names they had in mind, right? Yep. As you know, Jerry always found something to pick on with his uh, girlfriends and his dates. There was always something wrong with them. Right. What was his complaint? What was his shallow complaint about uh, his girlfriend, Jillian? What was her name? Julian? Jillian. With Jillian. A G. Jillian. Jillian. I have, oh. a, I have a guess. I don't know if that's her. We're going to give Ken this one. Man hands. <laughs> Jim came close. But Jim's already won, so I'm going to give it to Ken. That's right. She had man hands. She had man hands. That's right. <laughs> yeah, she was gorgeous. Just man hands. <laughs> <laughs> they, got the big, they got like the biggest guy's hands possible to do the cutaways. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it was, like, it was like a football, like an offensive lineman hands. Like, I mean, come on. <laughs> she can't be walking around with those big hands. <laughs> uh, That's great. You got a trivia question? Yeah. All right, Lou, we have a, a wrestling trivia question. Okay. Yep. Go ahead. Go for it. All right. For a band spot. And it has to be on Facebook. All right. Let me take this out because I hear myself in the background. All right. So in the spirit of pulling the Hulk Hogan rookie card, now Hulk Hogan had six WWE title reigns. We all know he beat the Iron Sheik to, for the first one. My question to you guys, who did Hulk Hogan beat for his sixth and last WWE title victory? Who did he defeat for his sixth and final belt? Yes, in WWE. In WWE. This is for a band spot. Chance to win $1,500 on May 16th. A lot of answers there already. No. no. It's not Andre. Nope. No. Nope. Wasn't Andre? Wasn't Slaughter was three? He never beat. Macho, macho man. So Todd Burke has more Super Bowl championships than Hulk Hogan had belts. Is that what, <laughs> is that what I'm hearing? That's what you're hearing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> wow, it's a lot of names. Oh wait, I think somebody it's got a lot. it. It's a great list of names. No, Brett H didn't get it. I haven't seen it yet. No, it's not Jericho, not Mankind, not, not Yoko, Hard, not Stone Cold. Not Yokozuna? No, Yokozuna was the was the fifth one. Oh, okay. I thought it was Yokozuna. It's not the Warrior. Not that. No. Warrior beat him. He never beat the Warrior back. Hacksaw. There's no way. I think he just Richard posted Charles got it. Triple H. Richard Charles got it? Triple H. Triple H. Oh. Hamsley. Yep, in 2002. All right, get the man band spot. I will. Richard Charles, congratulations. Really? Triple H, Triple H won a championship, right? Triple A had the belt. He must have at some point. Oh, yeah, right? no, Triple, Triple H won I don't know how many times. He won a lot. Okay. okay. Triple H is a 14 time champion. 14 times. 14 Luke. times. Holy cow. <laughs> That's a lot. How does Doug have that right there at the tip of his, <laughs> tip of his tongue? <laughs> You may watch a lot of wrestling. I used to. I used to uh, watch a lot, but then uh, it was just like the Attitude Era. I used to watch the Attitude Era. That's when they have blood still showing. It's just all these like violent, different ways of hurting yeah. someone. But it was the most intense, most realistic. And then eventually they stopped. Like because um, they had to stop because uh, Vince McMahon's wife was running for Congress, so they kind of had to like channel back, and they went to a PG type of a show. And that's the reason, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. That is the reason. Um, All right. Well, one more Seinfeld? Yeah, Anthony. let's do one more Seinfeld. Let's do it. All right. I'm going to wait here for a couple seconds. I'm going to ask you guys to guess what the question is and what the answer is because you should get it based on this show. What's up, Otani? What I'm, what I'm going to ask for the final question, just throw the answer in, 
anticipate the question and throw the answer. I'm going to give people a couple seconds to do it. Okay, I'm going to get off. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to stay on here. Go ahead. Yep. Just a couple seconds. Just I, I'm going to throw out a question, but based on what this show is, you should be able to anticipate what the question is and what the answer is. I'm curious. Yep. Nope, Jim, that's not it. Give a couple more seconds. Someone's smart out there. No, Gus, not Cosmo. Oh, that was a good question. Yep. Nope, not George's job. Not Steinbrenner. <laughs> not jail. Okay, here's the question, everyone. What did George Costanza want to name his son? Oh, that's tough. Is it? It's not tough. Wasn't it? <laughs> Gee, For people on this show? <laughs> remember, <laughs> Gee, that that would have been good. One. Uh, Benson uh, Mojo has seven. It. He wanted to name his son Seven after Mickey Mantle. Right, but then somebody wanted to take it, right? Yeah, right. That was yeah. one of the because he mentioned it. All right. Do you have the whole list? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have nine. Yep. Uh, okay. So let me. Hey, Emily. Emily. Yep. Yeah, can take. Uh, all right. So. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write their names down. So, go ahead, uh, Lou. Let me know their names. James Gottschall. James Gottschall. Okay. Anthony Corbin. Anthony Corbin. Okay. Gus Tangles. Okay. Jim Lammers. Uh, Jim Lammers. Okay. Actually, Jim Lammers twice. Uh, okay. Rick Lucian. Okay. Brandon Miller. All right. Ken Benowitz. Ken Benowitz. 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 Yep. And Benson Mojo. Uh, Benson Mojo. Benson Mojo. Doug, that's David Mojo, right? Benson. Uh, yeah. That's David Mojo. Okay. Let's write a master's list. And this is for the Keith Hernandez card. <laughs> <laughs> Man, boy, we're gonna have to like. Just give Lou a Keith Hernandez card. No, I don't want it. No. <laughs> God, no. All right. I'm going to run that minus the list. Here we go. First person on top will win a Vintage Breaks t-shirt. Just let me know what size and a band spot. Here we go. Nice. In 11 on Ooh. the random. One. I don't know. It came up seven. <laughs> Two. That would be nice. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, and the winner is Ken Benowitz. Ken Benowitz. Doug, you get Ken a band spot, please. Okay. And Ken, is Ken on the chat right now? Yeah, he says he's a oh, huge Keith goodness. Hernandez fan. He's on the Facebook chat, I think. Of course he's a Keith Hernandez fan. <laughs> uh, all right, well, Ken. Tell me what uh, shirt size you would like. If we have it, we'll go ahead and send it out to you. Um, <laughs> that's that's going to be pretty much uh, the winners. The winner for yep. our first ever Seinfeld trivia question uh, trivia contest. Yep, excellent. That was fun. Thanks everybody. That was really a blast. Yeah, thanks Ken. Thanks everybody for tuning in, guys. The uh, the top seven for prizes can be done on the Vintage Break show after this. It's going to be one of the first things we do. And then we're going to keep on doing uh, some breaks. The wheel spin is still alive. So, uh, Lou. Just fun as always, J5. Thank you. It was fun. Thank you for the trivia questions. Uh, I love that background. It's so cool. <laughs> it looks like you're actually there. Like it's like, I know, right? I, know, I like it. We should be doing more. <laughs> What's the, uh, We should do Western trivia. Ooh. Well, that might be fun. Uh, maybe we'll take a poll next week. There's a lot of Wrestling fans are. Wrestling. So. Well, we think wrestling already. Oh, by by the way, next week on Leighton's Lock, uh, Dave Parker. Dave Parker. Dave Parker's on the show. Dave yep. Parker next yeah. week. Mm -hmm. awesome. His new book. Yep. Oh snap! Okay. So we'll yep. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard that. We'll see you next week. Thank you for tuning in, Lou. As always, a pleasure. I'm gonna talk to you later, buddy. All right, later, guys. Peace. <laughs>
that was our Lit and Loft show, everybody. Ken, Ben, anyways. Did Ken uh, tell us a size for sure? No? He is registered, though. I know that for yes. a fact. Reach, reach yeah, let's find out. Hi, Anna. Hi. Hello. Is Lily here? Yes, oh, sir. Hi, Lily. She's hiding. Mm -hmm. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a new team member joining us today. Her name is Lily. Say hi, Lily. Hi. There she is. <laughs> Did she disappear? Uh, she's going to be helping us out. Uh, her, her main position is to keep track of offline bonuses, but of course, we always need help in different things, so she'll be helping us out. Uh, so, Lily, welcome. And um, Emily, you're going to be... Helping her out with. Okay, cool. Next task. Meanwhile, Dougie, why don't you email me that list? Sure. I think there's only one who else going to do it for the. One more Wilson? I think so. Okay, cool, 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 cool. What are you looking for? Is that the hit pilot from 73? I believe it will be in a shoot. Yeah, that's fine. Uh... That but it was probably a ticket. It's on the shelf somewhere. It was an Aurora band. I'm pretty sure I put it in the shoot. You did. Alright. Yeah. Master Wani. Just got some things. The whole thing. I didn't put it in there. I didn't put it in there. Sure. Yeah, label it. There you go. What? Don't be snapping your fingers at me. You heard it. Yeah. Listen. I didn't hear you. Listen. Hurry up, get out of my chair. I'm listening. <laughs> Sorry, Kristen. Yeah. My fault. Right. Whoa. See, I, I, I apologize to Kristen, but not to Esther. I can't hear you. Sorry. I'm leaving the shipping team in good hands. Yes, yes, you are. Huh? I'm, not, I'm not the convert down with some cookies. Um, What's up? The list is yours. Thank you. This, uh, the wheel spins I did, Dougie, mm -hmm. I'm going to email you right now. Okay. And you could just uh, uh, do those prizes for them. Real prizes. There you go. The Cobra on the loft next week. Cobra. Yeah. Who's the Cobra? Cody's box? Dave Parker. Oh. What does he do? Is he a wrestler? <laughs> former, uh, <laughs> former baseball player. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You just play along. Like, yes, that's time. He was a wrestler. Yeah, yeah. He, he was a three-time champion. He, he wrestled bears. <laughs> uh, you missed your opportunity, man. I know, I know. Oh, Dougie. That was like a yeah, layup. Bears. That was a layup. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I wanted to actually be factual. Because yeah. <laughs> next thing you know, you guys would be like, oh, is Doug talking uh, the truth? Is he messing with us? Cody says, how do we spell Lily? Is it one L or two L's? One L. One L, Cody. Get it right. One L. Did you know that, John? Yeah, it's because I see her resume, so yes, I know. See, he has the luxury of lying now because he already knows the answer. No. <laughs> I know. Dude, just get out of my chair. Well, Come I'm on, doing the, the seven, not top seven. Hurry up. Hurry up. All right, guys, six on the random. This is for top seven. Good luck, everybody. Wow, that is huge. Why is that so... Uh, Steven Strauss, I'm doing your wheel spin while I come on, brother. That's what you One second. That's just waiting on John. Sorry, it takes him 40 minutes to break a pack, you know, Listen, half yeah. hour for a promo. Listen, the people love me. Two hours to do his hair. All right, here we go. Uh, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and the top seven and six are Kevin Van Stindelar gets a $50 break credit. Nice. Brian Billingsley, Sean Dooley, Brian Gumto. You guys are getting 1970 separate spots. Chris Garcia, Connor Muscarotra, and Henry Dawkins. You guys are getting band spots. So Kevin gets a $50 break credit? Uh, yes. Doug, I'm going to email you this. Okay, yeah. That would, okay, yeah, that would be better. Uh, this is uh, Loft Winners. Congratulations, everybody. And Brian through fourth. Okay, so Brian, 1970 spot. Sean Dooley, Brian Gunto, and then everybody else gets band spots. Okay. All right, 
And you gave Kevin his fifty dollars worth of credit. Yes. Okay. Awesome. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that is my time. Thank you so much. I will be in the background for a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to share. Are you, wait, wait, are you talking to her? Or him or him. her? No, she's Willie's fine. fine. Yeah, get out of here. Move. Listen. Get out of here, bro. God. You know that is the champ. Take your water so? with you. Champ ain't ish, bro. <laughs> That's why he's mad. It's not the truth. He's a he's a paper bag he's champ. You know, actually, you know, you know what's funny too? I told Ben to break that pack on Monday, and he just looked at it like, eh. Yeah, I know. Wow. I was gonna break that pack to start. Really? I literally, I was like, hey Ben, by the way, there's a WWF pack right here for you, and he didn't even. He was just like, eh. <sighs> Whoops. Yeah. Oh, he wouldn't be able to take it from X10. See, this is what happens when you poo poo on the wrestling. I was Wait. literally going to start the show with it. Alright. Guys. What's going on, everyone? It's your main breaker back in his rightful seat as Ted. Uh, you know, every now and then I gotta pull J5 out of the rocker and allow him to sit in my chair, break a few packs. Too bad he uh, takes so long at it. Literally an hour to break a cello pack. That was uh, that was like watching grass grow, Dougie. Maybe maybe next week I'll uh, you know, paint a wall, stare at that for an hour, you know. I mean, I mean, I do like rocking chairs. Rocking chairs are comfortable sometimes. You know, you know. What is going on, guys? We only have twenty six people watching. Nah, that can't be right. They're gonna hop back on to. I gotta, I gotta refresh. Hold on. Well, they're gonna hop back on from Facebook to uh, YouTube. Soccer. Dude, you be quiet. Be quiet. I don't know if restream's working. Got <sighs> I need some tissues. Uh, you already did the prizes for this? He me, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, right Alright, Steven, I don't know if you're on. Actually, I don't know if anyone's on. Is the chat working? Let's see. Yeah, okay, okay. Like watching peanut butter drip slow moving. Exactly, Sean. That's a slow drip. <laughs> What's up, Rick's Rookies? What's up? What's up, Rick Lucian? What's going on, Tyler? All right, so guys, we have an amazing fifty-dollar wheel running. Uh, I have the last, uh, the last spin with Steven Strauss. I'm gonna do that right now, Steven. Uh, what is going on, Ernie? Cody C. What is going on, guys? So we're gonna do Steven's spin, but first, let me get some promos going. Dougie, what do we got, my man? We got anything running right now? Uh, not at the moment. I'm just showing out everybody's prize. That's fine. All right. Well, I'm going to keep you nice and busy, Dougie. Here we go. Let's see. What do I want a bounty? What do I want a bounty? We're going to start with a bounty, guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ken, Doug's email address is exactly what he's about to drop in the chat for you. Yep, just give me one minute. I'm just giving everybody the prizes. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, Let's see here. Absolute memorabilia. Did you do the wheel spin first? Mm. No, I'm going to bounty something first. Okay. All right. Everybody's prizes from the loft and also from the wheel on the loft have been issued. Chris, could you go to that shelf for me? Uh, above it? Yep, to the left. Blue box. That's, yep, the left one, the one next to it. The, yes, yes. Okay, yep. Blue green. Guys, we are going to bounty. 2019 absolute memorabilia.
basketball, guys. We're going to bounty this bad boy. Dougie, are you ready? I'm always ready. All right. So, guys, we're going to start off with a nice bounty. First place is going to get a... Wait for it. Thousand dollar briefcase, Dougie. Second place is going to get a wheel spin, Dougie. Third place is going to get a bam. Okay, has to close by six thirty. All right, six thirty. Let's write down those prizes so we don't forget. Alex is asking about a soccer bounty. And if John wants to come up with one, we'll do one. 30. All right, so there's 10. Oh, all right, so all 10 spots are available. Yes. Okay. I think it's 2020. Yeah, it's right there. It's about 12 seconds. Second, we get a wheel. Oh, that's Ken reaching out to me on Facebook. Okay. Um, okay. Finish breaks. All right, guys. So uh, we got that rocking and rolling. Uh, we got. I'm right here. Right here. He's got a couple things he's working on right now. So. What's up? I have a quick question, Sam. I can't ask a quick question. I'm just letting you know that if you were adding to his workload, he's currently working on a few things. That's all I was saying, Jonathan. Oh my gosh, what do I know? I'm going to beat him. I'm going to yeah. beat him. Okay, let's see. Uh, 2019. Absolute basketball bounty. Next, uh, Dougie, we're going to do a 20 at 50 for a briefcase. Okay. 20 at 50 for a briefcase. Has to close by 6.30 as well. Take a few briefcases down. We, uh... I'm taking them down right now. No, no it's just uh, three. three. We've taken. Uh, we've given three. Three. So this is four. Okay. This is four. Yep. Okay. All right. We got our offlines going. We got our bounty set. I'm gonna start uh, with this wheel spin for Steven Strauss. All right. All right, Steven Strauss. You were my last wheel spin. Let me double check. I added a TBA just to mark off my place. Yep. All right. You got it. Good luck, Steven Strauss. Steven Strauss with a $5 break credit. Guys, we loaded up this wheel with some goodies. Everyone has an opportunity at this beautiful Mariano Rivera ticket. 
We have an exclusive wheel spin. We have a $250 break credit. We have a PSA 10 Frank Thomas. Guys, the wheel is loaded today. How often do we add multiple graded items on top of a 250 break credit, on top of an exclusive wheel spin? Get in on that wheel while you can, guys. We got the wheel running. We got briefcases running. We even have a bounty. Tell you how many people I got watching right now. I can't see. I'm blind. Uh, 34 right now. 34. Man, I, I wish Restream would get its act together. All right, guys, 34. Let's hit 20 likes and... We'll do a little guess that gum. Let's hit 20 likes. We'll do a little guess that gum. We're at 14 right now. At 14. All right, no problem. Uh, Dougie, how many, uh, what's our total dippage? We got two offlines. Let's see what we got on the grid. Go to the website here. Uh, 12 on the grid. 12 on the grid. We got 14 dippage. 14 dippage. 14, which was also the number of your former favorite players. Sam Darnold. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'll find my new favorite jet. Uh, nah, I'll just give up on them again. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. It was fun while it lasted. That's right, I thought you were a Lions fan now. Yeah, yeah, War. <laughs> Alright, let's break a pack. Break a pack. Let's see here. Uh, Alex, the wheel spins will be done. All the wheel spins will be done May 17th, the Monday after our event. So we have a list that's running. What's going on, guys? This is Chris Garcia's personal hoops premium cello thirty six. Good luck, Chris. Good. Yeah, May seventeenth, guys. It's the Monday after the the big event, so. Kevin Horder, Kevin Durant, Kemba Walker, Markel Fultz, Trevor Ardiza, Tyler Johnson, Dylan Windler rookie, Terrence Davis rookie, Lujan Dort rookie, Silver no Nerlin Noel. We got a Lou Williams, and we have a blue Courtney Lee. All right, we got Anthony Davis laser. We got Jonathan Isaac laser. And we got a Nicola Mele rookie laser. All right, that was your personal Chris. There we go. Sure. 
Guys, we still got all 10 spots in 2019 Absolute Memorabilia, guys. Check out this beautiful box right here. We're trying to break it. Uh, 630, guys. We have a nice bounty on it. We're offering a $1,000 briefcase. All you got to do is buy one spot in this box, guys. We also have a 20 of 50 running. You're taking two shots at briefcases. Two shots. As soon as you spend 100 bucks on this box right here, you're getting two spots in the 20 at 50. You're getting a shot in the bounty. And you're getting two dice rolls. Sorry, wheel spins? Wheel spins. You're getting two wheel spins that we're going to do live. We're going to do those wheel spins live, guys. I thought you guys would be more pumped up for a half-off wheel and a loaded hot hit panel. Someone please stop me from entering MLB FanDuel lineups. <laughs> None taken. I mean, look, Ernie. We can't tell you what to do. I mean, we can offer advice. Yeah. 180. So why is it right now? 20 at 50, $4,000 briefcase. All right. And then we also have a bounty on 2019 absolute memorabilia. No spots have moved yet. They both have to close at 6.30. Great. Tell you what. Uh, I think we mentioned it today. The captain. Dermy Munson. A.K.A. The captain. Guys, we have a... Doug, you be a 30-minute flash. 30 minute flash. Every $10 you spend a checkout, ladies and gentlemen, you'll get an entry. Has to be ten dollars minimum at checkout. It's gonna be for a winner take all, and the first person on top of the list after the random is gonna get this two thousand and four upper deck legendary swatches of the man, the captain, Thurman Munson, with a Yankee pinstripe right there. Nice. That's what I like to see. That pinstripe. So this is going to go out to one person. All you have to do is spend $10 to check out, and this is yours. That is now live from now until 6.30. I like it. There you go, Thirty. $10 flash, guys. All you got to do is spend $10 to check out. Cool. Thank you, J5. Huh? I said thank you. All right, Chris. Number 15. Chris Garcia, this is your personal brother. Should be in the hall. Drew Holiday. Playing at the plane crash. Yeah. He would have been. 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 He Oh, guy, Ricky. Yeah, that was the Yankees catcher back in 2004. What's going on, guys? 1978 Tops Hockey Five. Wax Pack 171. Good luck, brother. I started to take 30, and I'm going to take 35. Nine. Keys all get stuck together. All 
All right, Daniel Lynch Three, is jumping in. Four, he really five, wants that six, uh, seven, Thurman Monson eight, card. Spot one, Red Wings. Spot two, Rutherford. Spot three, Ordest, Kinderchuk. Yes. Not saying that again. He's a sweet mustache. We got Canadians sweet maple leaves. Spot five. Nick Labette. I have made the joke. I've said Canada as Canadia so many times that when I hear the word Canadians, it just doesn't sound right anymore. <laughs> Even though I know I'm saying it intentionally wrong. Yeah. Spot six, Washington Capitals. Spot seven, Mike Bowsey. Hall of Famer. What am, who am I looking for in 78? That's, that's it. Oh, Bossy rookie? Yeah. Oh, nice. wow. <laughs> uh, spot seven for Tom O'Connor. We got a Mike Bossy rookie card. All spots still available in the absolute memorabilia bounty. Congrats, brother. Spot eight, we got Bob Kelly. Spot nine, Glenn Rush. Chico. Tell them the prize, Dougie. Spot 10, Gary Meehan. Spot 11, we got Wayne Cashman. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Spot 12, Bernie Parent. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Damn, you are correct. Nope, I can't even do that on this one. Yeah, that's my own typo. <laughs> well, Tom, congrats. I know you're a big hockey fan, so that's awesome for you. Tom, were they both for you, brother? I feel like I pulled another hit for you, brother. Yeah, PSA is on hold. That's true. Yeah. You know how they do. Just hang on to it and then... Uh... See how you put it on PSA. Yeah, that's back. right. Oh, Thank you. Okay. Bossy. Nice. Alright guys, we got some spins to do. Alright, Daniel Lynch, my man, stepping up, getting some wheels. Good luck, Daniel. One. Daniel Lynch with a hot hit. 
That's what I'm talking about, Daniel. Nice. That's that's how you know. That's how easy it is, guys. All you gotta do is step up, spend fifty bucks. We only have the wheel running until six thirty. When do we ever run a live wheel? Never. Never. We loaded it up. It's running live. Daniel Lynch is taking advantage. Oh no, I don't have to do it tomorrow morning. Daniel, you want the break credit? Are you sure, brother? Going once. What's Going the, twice. He wants to break credit. Yeah, I know. All right, Daniel, it's yours, brother. Congratulations, Dougie. What's Please the, issue Daniel Lynch a two fifty break credit. We'll do it right now. Thank you. Congrats, Daniel. Daniel, you got a couple more. You got a couple more. I think you got four more. Yep, you got four more. Okay. All right, Daniel Lynch, your break credit is yours. Anytime, brother. Anytime. <laughs> Spend it all in one place. We got a 250 bonus spot for Daniel Lynch, Dougie. <laughs> we got $5 break credit Charles for Daniel Lynch. Charles, what's up, baby? I'm not giving him the J5 treatment. At least he remembers that you're on tonight. That's true. Five dollar break credit for Daniel Lynch. <laughs> How many is that, Doug? Four. Uh, two, three, four. Yeah. One more, Daniel. One more. Yeah. Five dollar break credit. You look so disappointed, John. John, you're a part-time vegan. You don't know what vegetarians eat. You're a part-time vegan. You can, yeah, you just have. <laughs> just don't feed her what you tried to feed us last night. Oh, my God. No, Doug, that's Doug, that's that was good food. We all enjoyed it. Oh, yeah. my God, that was terrible. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, we all got the same thing. I promise. I promise. Uh, uh. Guys, we only have we only have live wheel spins until 6.30. After that, the wheel is gone, guys. The wheel is gone. I strongly recommend you take advantage. Uh, we got some amazing prizes on there. Honestly, we didn't even hit like one of the best prizes, the exclusive wheel spin. It's still on the hot hit panel. We got that graded Mariano Rivera ticket, and we got that Frank Thomas PSA 10 Guys, we got plenty of juicy prizes left on the wheel. Come on down. Take advantage, guys. Wheel spin's happening live until 6.30. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate you. I said, you probably need that. Yeah, my phone dying. It's been on Instagram all day. Yeah. Uh, all right. Ryan Steele is in. That's what I'm talking about, Ryan Steele. Any select breaks? Dark. Yes, Dark. I have bountied... Absolute basketball. Absolute basketball right here. This is the bounty. It has to close by 630. And if you spend 100 bucks on a spot in this, you're getting in on the bounty. You're getting two wheel spins that are going to happen right now live. And you're getting in on that 20 at 50 for a $1,000 briefcase. We got insane dippage happening right now at Vintage Breaks, guys. Today is the day to jump in. Uh, all right, Ryan Steele, I'm doing your wheel spins, brother. Good luck, Ryan Steele. All right, you and me, Ryan Steele. You ready, brother? Oh, NFL Select? I don't think... Do we have that on the site? $5 break credit for Ryan Steele, Dougie. I got three more coming for Ryan Steele. Okay. $5 break credit for Ryan Steele? Come on. Go me, show me a hot hit. Give me one. Give me, give, give me one. <gasps> Ryan Steele with a hot hit. Let's go, Ryan Steele. Let's go. Ryan Steele, my man. My man, Ryan Steele. Come on down. Where's Golf Weekly? Where's Ryan Steele? Ryan Steele. Mariano Rivera ticket. All right, Ryan Steele, final answer. He wants Mariano. I, 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 I said it out loud. I, I, I just, my chat is slow. I know, but I, I said it out loud. 
You don't know. He might have changed his mind while Frank Thomas. All right. I don't know. Final answer. Final answer. Done. Dougie. Actually, you know what? I'll put his name on it. Don't shoot. You got enough things. You got enough things going on. Ryan Steele. And does he have one more, Dougie? Yes, he has one more. Spot. You got it. All right. Let's do it. He just doesn't listen to you like that. John. That's that's why that's why you're my boo boo, my one and only. All right, next uh, we got one more spin for Ryan Steele. You got it, my friend. You got it. <laughs> I, I think that's the shortest I've ever seen somebody get break credit and spend it. Wait, yeah. did Daniel spend it? Already. <laughs> <laughs> I've yeah. seen that before, but it's still always impressive. Five dollar break credit for Ryan Steele. Okay. Like, I can, I can really figure out one. All right, next is Bobby. Bobby. Bobby Dorman. Good luck, brother. You got two. Good luck, Bobby. $5 break credit for Bobby. Come on. Come on. We got... Let's hit that high hit panel all day. Let's go. 250 bonus spot for Bobby. 250 How are we looking? You know, I'll check the bounty real quick. Guys, we're going to take a quick bounty check. Seven spots left in the bounty, guys. We have to close that box by 6.30. If you are spending $100 with us at VintageBreaks.com, might as well jump in on the bounty. Might as well. It only makes sense. Make that $100 purchase go far. All right. Let's 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 go. Let's get this wheel. All right. Ryan Steele's break credit is his. Daniel is in. Daniel is in for five more spins. Yes. All right, we got a $5 break credit for Daniel Lynch. We got a $5 break credit for Daniel Lynch. We got a $5 break credit for Daniel Lynch. We got uh, two more, Daniel. We got a $5 break credit for Daniel. Last spin for Daniel Lynch. Five dollar break credit for Daniel Lynch. All right, All right, thank you, Daniel. Okay. All right, Daniel, your twenty-five dollar break credit is yours. Bobby and Ryan Steele, your credits are also been given to you guys as well. All right, guys, we're caught up on spins right now. All you gotta do spend fifty bucks to get a spin. Let's see. How are we looking on the twenty and fifty, Dougie? I'm trying to catch up on. Okay. You got it. Yeah, Daniel, we're not doing we're not doing all the break credits instantly. Uh yeah, we're not we're not doing all the prizes instantly, Daniel. Dougie's doing a few things right now. He'll issue the wheel of prizes. Probably after 6.30 when we have all the wheel spins done. Yeah, Danny, I'll get your 250 spot as yeah. soon as I can. He just wanted to give you your prize. Yeah. Okay. Uh, J5, Ken got back to me about the t-shirt the he won off the contest. What's going on, guys? 1985 Tops Football Wax okay. Pack 93. Uh, 3X. 7. 3X, 3XL. 1, 2, 3... Four, six, and seven. Okay. How um, is that how we do that? Okay. I will email him. Okay. Doug is all powerful. <laughs> yeah. I'm a jack of all trades here. All right, 20 and 50 is down to four spots. We got 19 minutes left. Guys, four spots left in 20 at 50. Four spots left. If it closes, we're giving away a thousand dollar briefcase to someone. And that bounty is good for it. So what time? 6:30. Yeah, everything ends at 6:30. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spot one. Keller Winslow. Senior. Kellen Winslow. Kellen Winslow Senior. Who am I looking for, Dougie? 85, you're looking for Warren Moon Rookie. And also, second year, 
John Elway and Dan Marino. Spot to Sean Farrell. We got NFC Championship, spot three. <laughs> What's up, Mark? Mark, we rarely do these, uh, you know, we rarely do these things live. Just today. <laughs> we do miss going to casinos. Though. Spot four, Doug English. We do. We do miss going to casinos. I miss my roulette. These guys miss craps. Yeah. Spot five, we got Roger Craig. Okay. All right, Daniel, your 250 spot's been given to you. All right, all prizes are caught up. Spot six, Seahawks. Charles, it's okay, man. Yeah, no, I feel you. Uh, I I mean, you know, I wouldn't recommend it, but huh. spot seven, we got Mike Lansford. Yeah, my ex-wife actually just went to Vegas. Spot eight, we got Mike Merriweather. Got some more jumping in. Spot nine, we got Joe Montana. Movie night trivia. What what's the movie trivia? Charles Lamu. Okay. Now. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Mark Rascoli. Okay. Spot ten. Sammy White. Alright, he's in. And Ernie. All right, Ernie closed the Charles, can we get a hint? All right, 20 and 50 is done. Dom Mancini. What's up, Dom? Dom Mancini. What's going on, buddy? Dom, haven't seen you in a minute, my friend. How are you, Dom? Tony Eason. <laughs> Eighties comedy. I mean that that's that I that's a wide range. You have a wide range. I mean that could be Bachelor Party. That Spot could be Spot Twelve. Revenge of the Nerds. Curtis Dickey. Spot thirteen. We got Patriots. Glad glad to hear it, Dom. Glad yeah, to hear it, brother. How's Jace doing? Yeah, spot 14, Stacy Bailey. How is Jace doing? Spot 15, Vernon Maxwell. Any spots left in 20 and 50? I believe so. No. Dougie? It's no, it's closed. It's when did it close? You just said it. I just shot it in. I, I wasn't bad. Two, mi two minutes ago. Yeah. Two minutes ago? Okay, good. All right, uh, that's our 85 Tops football pack. Thank you, guys. All right, guys, I have a new promo. New promo, Dougie. Yeah, there's spillage. You can start off. Okay. Is there spillage? Uh, if it's a 20 and 50, yes. It's not. It's going to be a 15 or 100. Okay. So that's going to be brand new. Okay. 15 out of 100. 15 out of 100, guys. First place is getting your selection, your choice of a $1,000 briefcase. Second place is going to take home a 56 tops Roy Campanella, PSA 1. PSA 1, Roy Campanella for second place. Third place will get a 250 high roller. Fourth and fifth will receive a BAM spot into our Break a Maniac Appreciation promo. Chance at a $1,500 break credit. You need to write it up, right? There you go. Jason doing well. Fishing season, he's busy. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. That's right. He's I'm glad, glad to hear he's doing well. Uh, I know you guys enjoy fishing. Uh, yes. That's awesome, brother. Side so note, I've been fishing several times. I've never caught a fish. Wait, really? I tried. Just, yep. It's hard. It is hard. 
It is not easy to do it. I've gone fishing. I, I, I've gone fishing. I've caught, caught a few small fish, but never anything. I mean, yeah. okay. I've gotten one fish tank on the I've taken pictures of, like, I went on a big boat trip. I mean, the people I went with, they caught a couple big fishes. I took pictures for them, but I came out empty. Okay. Happens. It happens, yeah. All right. Let's check in on our bounty real quick, guys. Bounty has not moved. Okay. Uh, let me give away that promo. All right, this is the 2854, a briefcase. Good luck, everyone. Ten. Ten the hard way. Let's see. Two. This is going to take a second. Daniel Lynch. She is cleaning up tonight. Daniel Lynch, you're on fire, man. You're on fuego. Daniel, you get to select a $1,000 briefcase, Daniel. Daniel, let me know, brother. Let me know. Let's see. Boom, boom. And then, guys, we still have My pleasure, brother. We Seven. Twelve minutes left in the $10 flash. Daniel. For the Thurman Munson card. All right. You heard him, guys. You heard him. Let me take that down. Um, Dougie, what time does the 15 and 100 have to close by? 6.47. 6.47, okay. 6.47 for a briefcase. Second, we'll get a... Uh, ninth, can I see your open? It's a 56 tops, can't be. Did you already type it up and put it in the chat? I put it in the chat. All right, cool. Unless you want to type it up, too. I'm gonna just copy yours then and put That's it on, put it on the screen. There we go. All right. Vegas VB trips and lots of guys here. <laughs> Ernie. <laughs> I'm hoping I'm hoping for the national. I'm hoping for the national. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping for. That'll be my big trip and I'll be happy. <laughs> um Dougie, did the prizes from Layton's Loft get issued with the wheel spins? The wheel spin prizes? He gave you that list? Yeah. He so you got Chef Stephen G. Alright, cool. Come on. Come on. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, we did the we did the promo. Uh, do I have, yeah, hoping for it, brother, I'm hoping, 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 uh, I have wheel spins to fulfill, right, who was the last person we gave wheel spins to, Dougie, uh, Daniel Lynch, Daniel Lynch, so, if we're going by that, Mark um, R, yeah, your, your new best friend, Mark Ruscoli, Ruscoli, alright, Mark Ruscoli, you're up, buddy, Let's do those wheel spins, man. All right, good luck, Mark. Yeah, we got that before. And yep. Yep. Five dollar break credit from Mark. And a nineteen sixty one tops baseball set spot for Mark. Okay. Next is Ernie. Ernie, you're up, bud. Two fifty bonus spot for Ernie. Mm -hmm. Anytime, brother. My pleasure. Five dollar break credit for Ernie. 
Danny Casbier, you're up. We got a BAM spot for Danny Casbier. Jeffrey McDonald on deck, brother. $5 break credit for Jeffrey McDonald. Chris Garcia. He's got four spins. Good luck, Chris. $5 break credit. Let's go, Chris. Let's go. We got a $5 break credit. Anytime, brother. My pleasure. My pleasure. We got a $5 break credit. He got one more, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do it, Chris. We got a $5 break credit for Chris Garcia. Okay. Guys, the wheel is running until 6.30. We have seven more minutes to get in on the wheel on top of the briefcases we are currently running, guys. This is in addition to everything else we have running right now. All right. Where is my break at? Where is my break? Five spots left in our bounty, guys. We have seven minutes. If we want to close absolute memorabilia, take a shot at a free briefcase and a free wheel spin, we got to close it by 630. Let's see. 2009. Do we still have 2009 Bowman? What's up, Monty? Dom Mancini gets his own briefcase. Dom Mancini, brother. Come on down, Dom. Dom, you get to select any briefcase you like, my friend. And if dice rolls still go till... Yes, Dom gets dice rolls. I will... Uh, not dice rolls. A wheel spins. Wheel spins. That's right. Yep, uh, we'll do Dom's wheel spins uh, after. Okay. Actually, we'll, we'll do it now. Yeah, we'll do it now. Um, all right. What, 50? So he gets, what, 20? Yeah. 25, 21. So he spent 1,000, 50. So you divide by 50. He gets 21 uh, spins. Yep. Okay. 21 spins for Dom. Number 10 for S10. I like it, Dom. <laughs> he, he gets a briefcase. Yeah. All right. Boom. That's yours, Dom. All right, let's get these spins. You said 21? 21 spins. All right, let's do it, Dom. Doug, right. You're going to have to keep me on course. Okay, yeah, I'm, I have a Excel sheet for this All one. right. Let's hit that hot hit panel. First try? <sighs> 250 bonus spot for Dom. We're hitting that hot hit panel. We're hitting it. I believe. I'm going to get the Frank Thomas ready. Joe, we're a private office. Why I picked it. I like it, Dom. I like it. Uh, Joe, uh, I'm in Jersey for work for a few days can I swing by for a live break huh we'll have to talk to L train about it we got a five dollar break credit for Dom we got a five dollar break credit come on give me a high hit panel we got a five dollar break credit come on it's yellow. It's yellow wheel. Hit me with the yellow. Right. It's a very Easter colored wheel. 250 bonus spot for Dom. Come on. 
Pastel. It looks very Easter. It is very Easter. It's not. not it is. No, it is. It's very Easter. Two fit the same two fifty bonus spot. Show me a hot hit. Nineteen seventy set spot. Come on, hot hit panel. Why are you playing games? Wheel, you know you listen to me. Come on. Five dollar break credit for Dom. Come on. Hot hit. Hot hit. Ten dollar break credit for Dom. Come on. Come on. Five dollar break credit for Dom. Yeah, Joe. If it weren't for COVID, we would say you know probably, but you know COVID and all. Dom has seen. It always goes flying past the hot. Five dollar break credit for Dom. Mm -hmm. John's late to everything. He's so late to the party. Is driving me insane. Five dollar break credit for Dom. What number are we on? Okay, we've done twelve. We got nine to go. Right, is this worse? Yeah, it like starts to slow down and it cruises right over it. Yep. Now my hit, you'll get a two fifty bonus right. back to back and like just pass it. Like this is a big wait, so I don't mind sharing the blame. Does anyone want to click the button? Anyone want to click the button for I'll the wheel spin? Dom. Go. All right, one at a time. One at a time. I've done one this so many times. I'm good. One at a time. Go ahead. Click the button. Go ahead. Just click the button. click. Just click it once. Click the button, it'll, it'll All right, this is Dougie's spin. Good luck, 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 good luck. Five dollar break credit for Dom. I All try. Right. All right. Anyone? Anyone else? Come on, Chris. <laughs> Lily, you can do it next. All right. <laughs> Guys, uh, this is Chris. Um, <laughs> she is going to be Emily's uh, replacement. All you got to do is click the left click. She's a fantastic singer. She likes lemon up cookies. Oh, I do not sing well. <laughs> Five dollar break credit for Dom. All right, thank you for playing. Uh, all right, Lily. <laughs> Guys, uh, Emma is going to be leaving in about a week, uh, so this is Emma's replacement. This is Lily. Uh, there you go. Uh, just go ahead and left click the mouse. Come on, I hit panel. All right, five dollar break credit for Dom. Thank you for playing. <laughs> Uh, Emily, would you like to hit the button? On, yeah, I, I need to share the blame with everyone. I can't do it alone. <laughs> M80, everyone. M80, leave it in a few weeks. So sad. <laughs> <laughs> Five dollar break credit for Dom. Thank you for playing. Uh, Johnny, Johnny, sweet cheeks. Come on. Uh, make a phone call while you click the button. <laughs> That's right. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Give the next contestant. I'll press this button. That's how it's time, folks. I want the hot hit panel. That's how it's time. Oh, my God. The hot hit. He walked off with the hot hit. Oh, my God. He walked out of here. Good. I don't want him. Lock the door. I, I can't put up with this anymore. Dom! There we go, Dom. The hot hit. Dom Mancini. All right, so Dom Mancini, what do we have left on the hot hit panel for Dom? Uh, Dom, we have an exclusive wheel spin, which is uh, very difficult to come by. Uh, you can win them in the briefcases. Uh, it's for a special juiced up version of the wheel that's happening on the 17th. Um, or I got a... Frank Thomas, PSA 10. Or, I have a few gaggles. Uh, I have a few gaggles. I got I, I saw it slowing down at the hot hit panel. And on one hand, I'm rooting for it. Because like, I just want Dom to hit the hot hit panel. Yeah, and then on the other hand, I'm just like, I, I'm so mad that he just did that. <laughs> and it just happened like that. Technically, the odds were in his favor. But whatever. Monty, don't worry. I'm going to cut that, and that's going to be a post. He wants the exclusive wheel spin. Yeah, I like it, Dom. All right. Give Dom exclusive wheel spin, Dougie. Absolutely. All right. And how many? Do we have any more spins for Dom? He's got four more. Four more. Let's do it. The right, exclusive let's... wheel goes down race 17. Yes, Monday. Uh, all right. I'll run it back for you, uh, Matthew. So uh, Chris is going to be... M80's replacement. Uh, Lily is going to be Emma's replacement. Uh, you may or may not have seen Emma on camera. She's been on a few times. Um, 
she keeps track of promos, helps out in the background. Yeah, Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays, you'll hear her in the background. Yeah. When she's here. Yeah. All Maybe right. Somebody else. All right, cool. And there's another person starting. Way to walk that one off there, champ. Walk off over What's up, Ray Skeet? What's up? All right, we got four more spins for Dom. Good luck, Dom. He could have timed that like any better. Bye. All right, so Bye. Have a good one. 1970 set spot for Dom. Okay. Yeah, same thing for Emma. Emma's going to law school. Five dollar break credit for Dom. Yep. <laughs> Five dollar break credit for Dom. Right. Last spin for Dom. Five dollar break credit for Dom. Okay. All right. Thank you, Dom. Well, that was fun. I that enjoyed was... that. We got PJ McNeely in the house. What's up, PJ? PJ's got two spins. I like it. Good luck, PJ. <laughs> uh, 1970 uh, set spot for PJ. Okay. Anytime, Dom. Anytime, brother. Yeah. And a $10 break credit for PJ. Okay. Guys, the wheel is officially over. Thank you, guys. Uh, we didn't. Did we close the bounty? What's up? Play it. I'm leaving. You leave it. Cool. I'm out of here. Bye. Uh, Pete sits in the front, Lily. There's a plain piece of there too. Uh, and a mushroom and ham for the one. Cool. Let's see here. Is my salad up there? I'm sorry, what? Is my salad up there? I'm going to take that as a strong yes. Because you know I'd mess you up. So that uh, Batsy foot that absolute didn't close. No. Well, actually, I'm checking. I'm che To be fair, I'm checking right now. How about that 1500? No, five spots left. Yeah, it didn't close. Okay. Tell me what about that 1500? Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. It's showing Don's prize. Uh, 1500. No, it was 2050. No, it was 1500. Uh, let's see. Uh... You sound like Ben. <laughs> That's good, eh? That's good. That was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> He's completely insulted. So, what to say? How much pasta? 12. Okay. 12 pasta. 12. Now? Are you? Why not? Why not? Why not? Um, Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, guys, I have a little promo for you all. A little promo. You want me to do both? No, I'm just giving you. Oh. Okay. I got a little promo. I got a little promo, guys. Dougie, are you ready? Sure. This is going to be a 50 at 50, Dougie. 50 at 50, okay? Must close by 920. 920, okay? First place in this 50 at 50 is going to receive... A 1958 Tops Duke Snyder PSA 4. The Duke. First, uh, second place is going to get a 500 high roller spot. Guys, there's only 30 spots left in that promo. Uh, it's coming down. It's going to close. Third place is a 250 high roller, Dougie. Mm -hmm. Fourth and fifth is a BAM. Has to close by 920, Dougie. 50 at 50. Guys, we got plenty of spots left in this 15 at 100. Dougie said there were about 12 spots left. Um, we got to close it by 6... 647. 647 if we want to give it away, guys. We got, a, we got a Roy Campy PSA 1 for second place, guys. If you ever wanted to own a 56 Roy Campy, here's your shot. Oh, that's awesome, Rayski. <clears throat> Sam, so who is going to replace you when you make the move to VV West? <laughs> oh, Charles. I can't be replaced. It's not happening. Like M80 said, irreplaceable. 
I'll just be taking my talents to the West. I'll still be in the VB brand. Oh, I'll make sure I break It'll, you. There'll, I will slap the ish out of you. I will definitely You come you. anywhere near me with a branding iron? <laughs> forget it. If you say J5. Hey, you know, I'll do it if you do it. I have a J5. I'll man. have an S10 one made. Right in the back shoulder. No, you know what? Train stand. I want it, I want it right on your cheek. Yeah. You know how like prisoners put the tear? Sure. I want S10 right there on your face. That way, everyone will just look at you. They'll be like, what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? What is that for? Oh, he's not moving. Oh, uh, where, where are you moving? No, I'm not moving, Matthew. I'm not moving. It's a joke. Um, all right. Boom. Right, I have to send you the uh, 30 minute flash. Okay. I'm just catching up on the names. Yeah, let me. Did I hand you the 50 of 50? No, I have it. Let me type up the. Did you type up the 50 of 50? I haven't yet. I just. Okay, yeah. Let up. me put it on the screen. 50 at 50. First place. 1958 tops. Duke Snyder. PSA 4. Seconds. Third. Two fifty. change happening at once, but not a lot of change. I mean, I've been here for almost a year, over a year and a half, and we've only seen a new person with Brian, and Brian's... Yeah, but Brian was here before, so he just came back for a second stint. Yeah. And then... I mean, Emma, I mean, Emma... Emma's temp was temporary, Yeah, so. I mean, Emma was, was a new person, but temporary. Kirsten's new. She sang. And then we have Lily, so those are new people. Okay, that is for the... Okay. I sent those. Yep, you got it, you got it. Uh, as my okay. previous show says, you can't say. Okay. Uh, okay. This show today feels like musical chairs, key of the VV music. <laughs> What's going on, guys? This is our 2020 T206 <laughs> pack 43. Good luck, guys. We got a six. <laughs> oh my god, what do you want? A cookie? Yeah. Oh my god. Doug, you throw a cookie at him. I, I don't have any more cookies. I have, I have pizza pretzels. He doesn't want to leave. This is his problem. He doesn't want to leave. Here. No, are you? Are you really? Finally. Pablo can never be replaced. A dream come true. <laughs> Thank God. What, 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 what? Is Pablo being replaced? No. Pablo's here. Rayski, if I go to VB West, Pablo's coming with me. Like That's my son. Like choppy look at that mini. Down. Look at that. Look at that man bun. Or boy <laughs> bun. Look at this boy bun. That's staying. Wow, that's, that's going that's with That's hung on to there. I, I wrapped that thing tight. Yeah, you did. All right, bye. 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 Have a good night. Bye. Bye. To be fair, I always want a cookie. Oh, that's fair, Charles. I cookies mean, are awesome. Cookies are awesome. We have cookies. We do have cookies. Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. Spot one. We got Noah Syndergaard. 
So we got a 50 at 50 running right now, guys. We have that 15 at 100. Dougie, any movement on the 15 at 100? Not yet. Not yet. Spot two, Scott Kingery. Charles, you want tacos? You want pizza with ham and mushroom? Spot three, Tyler Glasnow. I had tacos for lunch, they were good. I like, thin mints. I like putting thin mints in the freezer. Spot four. We got Carlos Correa. And I can't eat the ones with coconut and caramel because they hurt my teeth. Spot five, we got Manny Machado. All right. Spot six, we got Charlie Morton. Spot seven, we got DJ LeMayu. Spot eight, we got Mike Schmidt. Tacos are always an option, but the good taco place doesn't deliver, and I'm feeling lazy. That's fair. We had a good. We have a good taco place around here, Charles, and uh, they don't deliver. But you know, we got DoorDash. So, what taco place? Um, you know, if I could remember it right now on demand, I would tell you. <laughs> uh, spot nine, we got Vlad's dad. We got Vladdy Guerrero. Vladdy Daddy. And we got. Corbin, we got Corbin with a sweet cap roll back. All right, that was our 2020 T206 pack. Thank you, guys. Sure, Daniel, we'll do it right now, bud. guys good luck we got a 10 all right daniel lynch everyone else who jumped in good luck guys one two three four we got quite a ways to go okay All right, nine. And on the ten. Good luck, everyone. Aaron Steele. Aaron Steele. Congratulations, Aaron. Aaron Steele winning the Thurman Munson patch. That is going to Aaron Steele. Ryan Steele, any relation? All right, congratulations, Aaron.
Anytime, brother. So, Dougie. It's at work. Absolutely, Daniel. So, Dougie. Yes. Here's what I'm thinking. Okay. You're going to jump on. Okay. Do a break or two. Maybe three. Yeah. Um, M80's going to slide in to keep track of these bonuses. It looks like, I'm guessing the 50 and 100 did not close. No, we only had three entries down. Only three entries? Here's what I'm going to do. I'll give it... I mean, I, I sh uh, no, I'm going to extend it. I'll extend it. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Guys, the 15 or 100, I will extend until 7.05. Max extension, guys. If you guys want that promo, it has to close by 7.05. 7.05. All right, Dougie? Sure. All right. Awesome. All right, guys. We're extending it to 7.05. Dougie's going to take on over for a little bit, but uh, I'm going to cook up something. I'm going to cook something up. I'll be back. I'm going to cook something up. Okay. All right. All right. What's up, everyone? For all the new people here, uh, I am Dougie Fresh. I am Doug. I am the kind of the jack of all trades here on uh, how does my coworker use his referral code? Um, we have that. Uh, I think if he sends him the code and he puts it in when he signs up for an account, he can. But. I have to actually look at it. I have, we yeah. Seen, it, was, it, it wasn't very popular. <laughs> um, hold on. Let's do that. Okay, hold on. Well, 5,900. Chronicles. Chris Garcia has got a whole bunch of personals here. Okay. All right. Going on, everyone. Uh, All right. Check Jim, uh, Johnny. Okay. Yeah, he, Emily's gonna look into it for you. It's been a while since someone's. <laughs> Is that. WWE undisputed prepped? Um, I'm not sure, Orlando. Let's say. Okay, so this is pack three fifteen. Had it before. There it is. Okay. Let's go look for. Let's go look for Michael Jordan. All right. Here we go. All right, guys. This is 1989 Fleer basketball wax pack number 315. We are looking for Michael Jordan. This would be Michael Jordan fourth year. All right. Six and three is nine. Break. Boom. All right. All right. So there's no gum. So this one will start number one. All right. Spot number one. We have the All Star card of Patrick Ewing. For Terry. Spot number two, Kelly Trapuca. For the Charlotte Hornets. Yeah, bro, give me that good luck. All right. Ooh. Spot number three, we have Hall of Famer. You see him on NBA. Pre and post game on TNT. Here's Charles Barkley. Spot number four, Ricky Sensations. It's Ricky card of Rick Smets. For Pam. Spot number five, Hall of Famer. Second year card of John Stockton. Spot 
Spot number six, we have Johnny Dawkins. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, wait, I'm typing? Wait. And then I forgot that Emily is in my seat. I'm going now. <laughs> She's a better looking version of me, too. All right, here's Ricky Pierce. Number seven. Spot number eight for Terry. Here's Otis Thorpe. Spot number nine. We have Irvin Magic Johnson. Spot number 10 for Mark Burns, Mitch Richmond. Rookie of the Year. Come on, Jordan. Spot number 11, Joe Dumars. Hall of Famer, former Pistons general manager. Spot number 12, here's Blair Rasmussen. Spot number 13, Craig Elo, who had a decent career, but is most famous for the Cleveland shot in 1989 playoffs, as Jordan hit it over Craig Elo. Spot number 14, Sam Perkins. For Pam. Sam Perkins, who was Michael Jordan's teammate at UNC. Spot number 15, Dave Corzine. Spot number 16, Greg Anderson. Traded to the Milwaukee Bucks. All right. All right, no Jordan in that one. All right, guys, that was 1989 Fleer Basketball Wax Pack number 315 in the books. All right. All right, I know Chris Garcia is on. I know he is anxiously awaiting a personal of his. Let's see, what can I do for you? Hmm. You got your hoop cello here, let's say. Those are your hoop cello pack. Guys, only 10 minutes left in the, ten, in the 15 out of 100. You heard our future attorney general. My future defense attorney. Maybe, who knows, maybe she'll be a future president of the United States. Who knows? That could have <laughs> Yeah, alright. Yeah, what's up, Ray Yeah, that was a pretty, that was filled with a lot of all-stars in that, uh, even though no Jordan still. Barkley, Dumars, Magic, and Stockton. Plus a Ewing all-star card. Alright, this is a personal for Chris Garcia. I'll hit the break. This is 2020 Hoops Cello. So we're looking for all the rookies like James Wiseman. We're looking for Anthony Edwards, who has no idea who his boss is, by the way. He has no idea who Alex Rodriguez is. And we're also looking for LaMelo Ball. And also two of my favorite rookies for the Knicks. Um, Obi Toppin and Emmanuel Quickly, who's had a very good year so far for the Knicks. All right. All right, here we go. All right, we got Dwayne Bacon. Probably no relation to Kevin Bacon. Dennis Schroeder, before he got traded to the Knicks. Joshua Jackson. And we're looking for, we're looking for LaMelo for you. Zach Collins for the Blazers. <laughs> no, A-Rod knows who he is. He, uh... He, he definitely knows. He actually wrote back to him on Instagram. Hi, Anthony. I'm Alex. Here's second year Rui Hashimura. Yeah, I, I like... The, the Knicks are fighting this year. I love how they're... Uh, second year Tyler Hero. Knicks actually look like a playoff team. 
Not a contending team. Uh, here's Jamal Murray, who just tore his ACL for the Nuggets. Missed the rest of the year. It's unfortunate. He's a really good player. Kevin Love, who I'm surprised is still in the Cavaliers and not been traded yet. Deontay Murray for the Spurs. Here's Kevin Herter. Herter? 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 Throw him the heater? I don't know. Here's somebody who I interviewed while I was in college. Brooke Lopez. He's 7 1. He's humongous. Willie Cauley Stein. Decent defender. Here we go. RJ Barrett. Second year. I'll sleep up RJ. Markeith Morris. Oh, you're no problem. Here's KD. Kevin Durant. Having a good uh, bounce back year after missing all of last year. Uh, Josh Richardson. Here is OG Anobi. Robert Covington for the Rockets. It didn't work. I'll send Sam an email. Okay. Jarrett Culver. Frank Nilakina. Here is James Harden before he got traded to the Nets. Here is Luka Doncic and Ja Morant holding up each other's jerseys. It's a pretty cool card. Okay. And then we have the slam. This is Kevin Dur um Kev not Kevin Durant, Kevin Garnett. Back in the old school, uh, it's probably 20 years ago. Vanity Plates. Here is Kyrie Irving. Cole Anthony. Josh Green. Killian Hayes. Aaron Nesmith for the Celtics. Been having a down year in Boston. Oh, one of my okay, one of my favorite rookies, Obi Toppin. I'll sleep up Obi. And Tyrese Maxey. Okay. Alright. RJ and Ovi and pennies. RJ, who's had a very good sophomore year. And Ovi, who I feel like should have won the dunk contest back in March. But I feel like he's going to have a very good NBA career with these sticks with the next. Okay. All right. All right, guys. That was 2020 Hoops Cello Personal. Number 23 for Chris Garcia in the books. All right. Okay, hey, it's four minutes left. This is 15 out of 100. Four minutes left, guys. And the 15 and a hundo. Get your purchases in. Okay, let's see. What can I do next? Hmm, let's see. Okay. Take another shot at that. And I should do another. Chris, I I'll do another one of your personals, let's say. Um, let's do a solo. Alright. Um, yeah, I'll take my personal since your name is already up. Um, 
Oops. Yeah, here we go. All right, guys, this is 2019 Hoops Cello Premium Personal for Chris Garcia. We're looking for Zion. We're looking for Ja, RJ Barrett, not Brandon Clark. Okay. Okay, here we go. Tristan Thompson, who proves the rule. If you're a sports player, don't ever date a Kardashian. Your career will go in in the tank real quick. I mean, I don't think you have to be a sports player to not date a Kardashian. I mean, it just it goes hand in hand. George Hill. How, um, how many spots left in the 15 of Hundo? 12. It's probably not here. 12 spots, PJ. Well, yeah. D'Angelo Russell. Zach Collins. That's okay. You got into whatever. You got into the state. You got into this stage one bonus, stage two bonus. Josh Hart. Other bonuses that are currently active on the website. Let's see bonuses. Luka not Domjic. Luka Samonic. You got into the stage one bonus, stage two bonus. You got into three Mariel bonus. Mariel Shyok. Here's future Hall of Famer I Dwayne Wade. Who has a lot of fun on TikTok? Okay, let's see. Ooh. Okay, so we got a redemption. Okay, so 2019 Panini Hoops Premium Stock Rookie Ink John Morant. Nice. This expires in 2022. So, Chris Garcia. A little time. You got a little time on this. I'm not sure. Still, it's a good redemption. All right. Uh, Draymond Green. Chris, let me know um, if you want me to send you that redemption code right away. Or if you're, just good, you're good waiting on it. Shoot the game. Yes. Mariel Shyok. And Jaron Jackson Jr. And let's see what you got in the bonus pack. Yep, so if you want to shoot me an email there, just let me know if you want me to scratch it off and send you the code. I will absolutely do that for you. All right, here is Gordon Hayward. De'Aaron Fox. It's cool. Okay. Expired. 3,900 expired. We did extend it 20 minutes, so... All right. All right. That was Chris Garcia's 2019 Hoops Cello Personal number 37. Congratulations on that redemption in the books. This is almost a personal here for. All right, this is almost a personal here, but not quite. 1989 Fleer basketball wax back number 316. We're gonna take one more stab, We're trying to get a Michael Jordan. Chris Garcia, congratulations on that Jaw Redemption card. As long as it's not a Brandon Clark. It's not Brandon Clark. All right, 11 on the random. Can you imagine the disappointment of getting a Brandon Clark redemption? I think Brandon Clark would be disappointed in his own redemption. <laughs> All right. So we got Benjamin in a sea of Alexander Patterson's. All right. Break. So you said you went fishing before. What kind of fishing did you go? Um, On a charter boat. So, okay. yeah, just... You go fluke fishing? Blue fishing? Blue I'm not sure what kind of fish we were going after. I mean, it was like... 
Um, all I know is I had to wake up at five o'clock in the morning to go with my ex father in law. And I mean, they were catching, they're catching some big 25, 30 pound fish. So, nice. yeah. I went fishing with my, my dad with the nice of Columbus, and we uh, went fluke fishing, which is the, you just put a weight on the, the thing, because they fluke are at the very bottom of the ocean. Or yeah, this, there was no, yeah, there was no weights on my thing, so. I caught, that was the only fishing I went where I actually caught something I could bring home. Okay. Every, every time I go fishing, it's lake fishing and it's catch and release, and yeah. it's usually just tiny little things. <laughs> I took my niece and nephew fishing. They don't have the patience to go fishing. No. We uh we caught a tur- we almost nice? caught a snapping turtle. Oh nice. Lake, by the lake near our house. So. <laughs> Isaiah's st- All Star sticker. Spot um, number two. My family's camping people. So. Yeah, I used to, I went camping a couple times. Michael Cage. My niece is not a camping person. She she said it very clearly. I'm a hotel kid. <laughs> I like hotels too. But I mean, I, I've gone camping a few times. Jeff Malone. Spot number four. We actually, Mark Jackson talked about one of his very infamous cards from '89 Hoops or '90 Hoops, where the Melendez brothers are sitting courtside. Here's Mark Jackson, who is a broadcaster, former head coach, former Nick Pacer. All right. Spot number five. Here is the checklist. Uh, S10 has a couple of Brandon Clarks in this collection that were gifts from the Vintage Breaks community. I believe that was from Mike Green. Yes. Um, I don't know if we're going to pay to have an auto <laughs> dedicated to S10. This joke's only, so, only going to cost so much for a joke. <laughs> yeah. All right, spot number six. Here is Danny Ainge, current Boston Cel- Celtics general manager. Spot number seven, Mark West. Phoenix Suns. Spot number eight. Here is Richard Anderson. Spot number nine. Chris Welp. <laughs> you can tell like, the excitement in her voice. Oh, nobody likes the Seth Breaks. They're great. They're so much fun to watch. But having to separate 600 plus cards, <laughs> you having to do videos for 600 plus cards. Mm-hmm. Seth Breaks are fun. They're a great buy. They're definitely a great buy-in for the. They are. Thing. But when it comes to the uh, the after and uh, the aftermath and the aftermath, the, they are. Isaiah Thomas. <laughs> That was why last week I spent a good three days just getting a bunch of set breaks together and to go out. And me and Rob just systematically just shipped out a bunch of them. And here's Gary Grant. Spot number 12. Spot number 13, Rick Mahorn. Spot number 14, Hall of Famer. Here's the mailman, Carl Malone. Spot number 15, Grant Long. And spot number 16, Vern Fleming. Okay, we got, 20, we got 40 people watching on YouTube. We only got 19 likes. Okay. All right, guys, that was 1989 Fleer. Basketball wax pack number 316. 41 watching. In the books. Okay. Looks like, looks like I got time for maybe one more. Do one more quick. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do one of Chris's personals. He's got a lot of them here. All right. Uh, let's do a little football. Draft football. to be football. I'm gonna uh, that I'm always gonna remember you for football. Love that. I love Family Guy. 
I know. That was the first ever episode, too. Yeah. Come on. Football! Uh, John, we're not on air. I know. Uh, I just talk about, like, like football! Come on. I remember that was right after the Super Bowl, too, that they played that episode. I'm just like, what is this? And... A lot of family guys. Oh. And UNS 10 was the software. <laughs> that we can't say on air. No, not. <laughs> that I cannot say on air. All right. All right. Here is 2020 Donruss Optic Football Cello Personal number 52. Again, another Chris Garcia personal. I believe we are looking for Tua Burrow. Uh, Justin Herbert. The draft is going to be in a few weeks. Football? The NFL draft, yeah. What's football season? Someone doesn't even start till... September. But the draft is always... Yeah, always late April. Oh, uh, yeah. It just feels weird out of, out of order. Mm -hmm. last year. Dalvin Cook. One of the best running backs in football. David Montgomery. Uh, pass rusher. I would like Micah Parsons from Penn State. That's my preference, but we'll see. Here is Carson Wentz before he got traded to the Colts. Here's now a current New York Giant, Kenny Galladay. Here's one of my favorite players not on the Giants. Here's Rob Gronkowski. Rated rookie Zach Moss. Hey, it's time. Marlon Davidson. Hey, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Stefan Diggs for the Buffalo Bills, who got to the AFC Championship game. Oh yeah, we saw, I saw the uh, the founding fathers. You know. Oh, here's my my quarterback, Daniel Jones. Oh, there's a new one. Oh god. Ezekiel Elliott. Alright. Here's George Kittle for the 49ers. And the final card, Darius <laughs> Leonard. Alright, Chris, that was your 2020 Donruss Optic Football Personal number 52 in the books. Alright, Dougie. Are you ready to go? Yep. Alright. I love it. I like it. I love it, John Dooley. Alright, let me clear this off. All right, guys, S10 is coming back. <laughs> guys, it was fun to hang out for a little bit. Hey, Dougie. All right. I have a hot promo. A hot. It's on fuego. All right. All right. Dougie, this is how hot it is, brother. <laughs> Are you guys ready? This is how hot it is, Dougie. This is how hot it is. 100%. What the... That's the new one from Sean Dooley. Oh you, my get ready to type it up. From now until 9.20, Dougie. 9.20. Okay? Mm -hmm. 35 at 100. 35 at 100. First place, Dougie, is going to get not one, but two $1,000 briefcases, Dougie. Second place is going to get a $1,000 briefcase. Third place is going to get an exclusive wheel spin. Fourth place is going to take home a 2018 Tops Chrome Ronald Acuna Jr. PSA 9. Beautiful card, guys. This card is on fire, going up daily. I just checked this card out. It's a monster. Is there a fifth? There is a fifth, Dougie. Fifth place is going to get a $1,000 VIP spot. Guys, this is a beautiful promo. I just negotiated it with Layton. 35 and 100. Has to close by 920, guys. Gorgeous promo. Doug, you drop it in the chat for me. And honestly, if we don't close it, it's okay. I'm taking this Acuna, I'm taking this Acuna home. 
Put out late. Oh yeah, I already talked to him about it. Already talked to him about it. Don't worry about it. All right. Oh, it's such a beautiful cream. Yeah, that's nice. Dude, it's so. I love Topps Chrome. It looks so nice. All right. Uh, you typed it up. Yeah, I just dropped it in the chat. All right. All right. Let's put seven fifteen. Boom. And uh, the fifteen hundred did it close? No, we no. tried. We tried. Okay. Nobody, nobody. No problem. No problem. How's the fifty of fifty looking? How are we looking? No entries yet. All right, guys, we have a 35 at 100 and a 50 at 50 running. They both have to close by 920, guys. They both have to close by 920. Let me basically put that there. All right. <clears throat> We awake in the chat, guys. You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. I need to, I need to check. I need to check the pulse real quick. Uh, where is my guess that gum box? Did John? There it is. There it is. All right, guys, if you're not familiar with Guess That Gum, no problem. Let me break it down for you. Guess That Gum. All you have to do is guess the year, the date, sorry, the year, the manufacturer, and the sport. The year, the manufacturer, and the sport. So if I hold up a piece of gum, if uh, all you got to do is guess something like uh, 1980 Don Russ Golf. Yes. Something like that. Something like that. No. Huh. No. Uh, that's always a fun one, but no one ever guesses the whole thing. I think we're going with... Okay. All right, guys. Dougie has the answer. And guys, remember, it's the first person on our screen. You guys all have different internet times. Good yeah. luck. Study that piece of. Uh, it's got some. I don't even see any mold on it. Looks like a nice flat piece of gum. Yeah. Alright, we got some guesses. We got Joseph Bukovic's in here. We got Mike Cook, Ken Fickle, Mike Cook, Orlando, Steven Strauss. We only got a few people guessing. Rayski's in here. Rayski's on the right direction. We got a 30 watching. So. Ooh, Dom Mancini's in the right direction. Dom, close, Dom, close. Rayski's like right there. You can give better hints than that, Dougie. Rayski, your year is close. You've had two like in the right, like close. The sport is correct and the manufacturer is correct. And Dom, you're like right there too. Dom, yep, you, you're, yep. Steven Strauss got it. 72 tops baseball. Steven Strauss. Steven Strauss. Okay. 
Okay. Steven Strauss. It was 72 tops baseball, guys. 72 tops baseball. 72 tops baseball. What does he get? All right. Steven Strauss. Uh, we're going to give Steven... We are going to give Steven a... Vintage wrapper. Okay. All right. Let's got some entries coming in now. Steven, we're sending you a 75 mini wrapper, brother. That's going to you, my friend. Two entries down and 35 at a hundo for two briefcases. Checking out set breaks right now. Lots of good ones on the site. Rayski, absolutely, my friend. Absolutely. Layton has uh, been pumping out the set breaks. I think he's been pumping out a few set breaks every week almost. It's been insane. I know. <laughs> Emily, you sounded, uh, sounded a little sounded tilted. To oh, okay. A little, little tilted there. <laughs> S10, how about 10 break credit just got married Saturday? Mike Cook, congratulations, brother. Congrats. Uh, let's see. Where is this break? There it is. Nice. Okay. All right. Got to fit a few. All right. Dougie. Yes. Can you give Mike Cook a BAM spot? Sure. Yeah, I'm married on Saturday. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Oh. William Zeltner. What's going on, buddy? William. This is your personal 2020 Donruss Optic Football Pack. Good luck, my friend. Dougie, give Rayski a BAM spot for eating mint chocolate chip ice cream. <laughs> I will absolutely do that. Ben Roethlisberger, Aaron Jones, Ryan Tannehill, Austin Eakler. Anytime, brother. My pleasure. We have a hollow Kenneth Murray rookie. Hollow Kenneth Murray rookie. Well, now you have one, Rayski. Now you have one. Mm -hmm. uh, Charles, that is a really good question. That's a really good question. <laughs> but see, Rayski, you made us laugh. La making us laugh gets us get your band spots. We got LaMichael Perrine. Rated rookie. TJ Watt. JJ Watt. Patrick Mahomes. Let's leave him Mahomes. Teddy Bridgewater and Sterling Shepard. All right, William. That is your pack, my man. That is the correct answer. <laughs> What does he win, Charles? <laughs> Got any vintage in here? Any nice uh, vintage? Hey, vintage. 19, 1, 
tops. Dougie, how are we looking on our 35 and 100, my man? Give me a, a quick... Actually, give me an update on both. I'll put it in there. Dami on C. Jumped in. So. All right, so we have six down, 29 to go. Okay. 29 spots remaining. And in the 50 of 50? Uh, 14 spots down, 36 to go. 36 spots remaining. All right, guys, we have. 29 spots remaining in our 35 at 100. Has to close by 920. And we have 36 spots remaining in our 50 at 50. Both of these beautiful promos have to close by 920. Guys, we got some nice graded cards on the line right now. We got some nice graded cards. If you guys want a bounty, I can I can check out an item, but you gotta let me know a sport. Give me some direction. That way I know uh, I know what you guys want. Uh, let me see. Let me get this break going. What's what's going on, guys? Is there anyone tops baseball solo pack two oh six? Good luck. We got a five. One, two, three, four, and five. Uh, Joseph, uh, Layton didn't come in because he got his vaccine yesterday, brother. So um, we're hoping for Layton to make it into the office tomorrow, at which time uh, we can ask him for that box. Uh, why don't we do... Dougie, why don't we do a set break uh, special? I want to do a little set break special. Let's see. Let me see a ha. A little set break action. Here's what we're going to do, Dougie. We are going to do. Let me see. Here's what we're going to do, Dougie. Uh, we're gonna do. Actually, is, this should probably be on the grid. It's, I'm gonna put it on the grid. You are gonna put it on the grid. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, let's call it the S10 uh, set break flash. Okay. Um. <clears throat> do me a favor. Start it at 7:26. That way, Dom will be included in it. Yeah, that what way time? that way Dom will be included. What time do you want to end it? Um, it's gonna end at um, eight ten. Okay. Eight ten. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. First place is going to be an exclusive wheel spin. Mm -hmm. uh, second place is going to be. Go with. Let's go with a 1992 tops Brett Favre PSA nine. Okay. 
Third place will be a BAM spot. Has to close, yeah, will close in the next, uh, you know, a little bit, like 30 minutes, give or take. So basically it's buy into any separate spot? Any separate. You, you know how to set that up, right? John showed you? Cool. Yeah. So, uh, make sure that's live. Guys, that's gonna be on. That's gonna be on the grid. It's gonna be on the grid. Every set break spot you buy from now until eight ten, right? Did I say eight ten? Eight ten. You're gonna get an entry into our set break promo. Uh, make sure you type it up in the chat for me, Dougie. Spot one, we got Dick Davis. Would you call me? Yes. <laughs> spot two, we got Lou Whitaker. Spot three, we got A's Future Stars. Spot four, this is Doug Bird. Guys, you get us you get an entry into this flash every time you pick up a set break spot. It's not based on how much the spot costs. It's based on the amount of spots you pick up. Yes. But guys, we have several other promos running we have several other promos running guys we have our 35 at 100 and our 50 at 50 so if you're smart you'll pick up a hundred dollars worth of separate spots for an entry into everything robert dorman i was 15 yeah i'm sorry rob i'm sorry brother spot five we got johnny bench you always pick up a few more my friend the set breaks aren't going bad i promise Oh man, this gum is gnarly. Dude, this is filthy. That's gross. No. Spot six. Matthew Townsend, you're getting the gum. You're getting the gum. Bobby Davis with the gum. We got Mark Fidrich, seven. Spot eight, we got Fred Norman. Spot nine, we got Fred Martinez. We got Mario Soto, ten. Dougie, who am I looking for in 81 baseball? Uh, Tim Raines. Tim Raines. Gene Tennis. Speaking of tennis, I'm going to play tennis with J5 on Sunday. Oh, nice. Hopefully it'll be nice and warm. I'm going to sweat so much. Pat Putman. Spot 12. I mean, last Sunday it was rainy. Yeah, that's true. Alright guys, that was our 81 baseball pack. You put at. Oh, jeez. I mean, it's the same key as the sub. I, no, no, no. no. Bam, guys, check out the promos. I know it's a wall of text. Just read it. Read it nice and carefully, guys. All, we got all these goodies running right now. Vintage Breaks, guys. All these goodies running. All right, we got two people in the promo so far, guys. We got two people in the promo. Crazy. <laughs> What's going on, guys? This is Terry's personal 92 Stadium Club football 
pack 58. Good luck, Terry. Looking for Brett Favre. That's right. Let's see. Who's going to be the line judge for the tennis match? I think Jade's coming, so maybe Jade. I know if I played tennis against Jade, I would get my ass whooped. Because Johnny's still losing to Jade. And he actually practices and plays every week. He he like he had to convince me too. He was like, come on. He's like, you've been eating healthier. He's like, all you gotta do is exercise. I was like, dude, it's too much work. He's like, tennis is a game. You'll be fine. I was like, alright, whatever. It will get you to stop uh, talking about it. Terry, we got Corey Widmeyer. We got Ty Detmer. So the Bucks were playing um, the Timberwolves earlier, Dougie. Mm -hmm. I the, the Bucks had like their JV team out there. Like I don't even I don't even know if any of the starters like touched the court. Carl Banks. They probably didn't need the the playoffs. No, no. I saw as soon as I saw Giannis's brother on the court, I was like, oh, that's the kind of game. I stopped. I, you know, I turned it off. I was like, nope. It's this kind of game. Yeah, <laughs> it's this kind of game. We got Harvey Williams. I've been watching Last Chance U on Netflix, yeah, the basketball that. one. Yeah. Uh, I just got to the end. It ends. Uh, COVID ended. Uh, ended the finals. Oh wow! Like they were about like this is JUCO, and they're basically like this is how they're gonna get their offers to D one schools. Oh. It was rough. That, that's terrible. Yeah, it's rough. We got LT. LT. Lawrence Taylor. Breaking Maniacs, 12 spots left. In the there you go, Ray Ski. Love Guys, it. let's close the 54 Bowman. I'll see if we can... No promises. I'll see if we can do that tomorrow. If it closes tonight, I'll see if we can do it tomorrow. There you go. Corey Miller. Corey Miller. We got Thomas Macklemore. We got Anthony Miller. Doug, you drop a link for that 54 Bowman in the chat. Mark Boats. Mark Boats. All right, we got a couple people in, Doug. We got a couple people in. We got we got uh one, two, three, four, five people in, I believe. Yeah, a chance for that. Uh... 54 uh, Mickey Mantle card in the uh, 54. Yes, yes. We got Greg Skrepnak. What are these names? Who names their kid Skrepnak? What is that? That's not English. That's, uh, we got Ed McCaffrey. That's Christian McCaffrey's dad. Oh, that's cool. We got... Mike Singletary. Hall of Famer. We got Dan McGuire. Mark McGuire's brother. I was going to actually make a joke. <laughs> Cousin of uh, Mark McGuire. No, it's his brother. That's cool. We got Bruce Smith. Hall of Famer. All right, Terry, that's your pack. Thank you. Dougie, how are we looking on our 35 at 100, our 50 at 50? Give me an update so I can update the board. Got some more entries coming in. Nice. Let's see, where have we gone? Joseph 
Oh, well, you get that all squared away. Guys, let me run you through our dippage, shall I? May I? Guys, we have a 12 on the dip meter right there, okay? That's 12 different promos you can get into. On top of the three offlines, guys, do you know how many promos we're running right now, Dougie? It's my favorite amount of promos. 14. Penedekadivage. 15. Penedekadivage. Penedekadivage. Break it down now. Pena, Dagovich, Stop. Oh, actually, you said it. Nice. That usually you just go me, me, me. Pena, Dagovich. We got twelve different promos running on top of the fifty of fifty, on top of the thirty-five and a hundred, and on top of my little set break flash, guys. Eight spots to go in the fifty-four set break, guys. If we close that fifty-four set break. I will do my best to make sure that goes down tomorrow. And when I say do my best to make sure it goes down tomorrow, I'm going to look at Dougie. I'm going to scream at him and be like, Dougie, please get that set break ready. And I will likely say yes. Or he'll go, better than this. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out. Eight spots left, huh? I think we can move that. I think we can do that. Let me check it out. Let me check it out. All right. Update on the 50 of 50. Oh. Uh, 33 spots down, 17 to go. Oh. The 35 at 100 has 15 spots down, Ooh. so 20 to go. Ooh. Tell me more good things. You look very nice in yellow. I almost thought you were Thank wearing a Hulk Hogan shirt but today when I came Were you dis disappointed when it was not a Hulk Hogan shirt? Yeah, but I, 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 the only way you would get a Hulk Hogan shirt is if I gave you one like against doing this one. It's true. It's true. All right, guys. There is the set break in question. It is a 1954 Bowman baseball set break, guys. It, there are eight spots remaining that bad boy. If it closes, we may just have a break of it tomorrow. That's right. Uh, Dougie, do you think it's it's likely, highly likely? Yeah. Highly? Highly likely. Like, guarantee, are you guaranteeing it, Dougie, on your word as Dougie Fresh? Yeah. On your name? Uh, if it closes, I think that they should be rewarded that I would do the video. And on a prime night of Vintage Breaks. Which is tomorrow. Tomorrow's a Thursday. I think. It's down to six. I think it's doable. It's doable. It's doable. He's not guaranteeing it. Well, I mean, nothing's guaranteed. Like, okay. I have to make sure all the cards are here. Okay, okay. Hey, Dougie, why don't we go check that out real quick? Okay, okay. Go, uh, go, go give it a little once-over. Go give it a little once-over. Once yeah, yeah. Okay. We're reviewing the tape, boys. We're going to see. We're going to see. He's checking the cabinet. I can't believe it. Are on the screen. Are on the screen. Well, Nick's got the Pelicans tonight. Nick's got the notification. Oh, nice. Nick's versus Pelicans? Oh, it's going to be... It's not game, but... You know what's crazy? I want to... I have a lot of Zion cards that I didn't realize I accumulated. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to want... I actually want to root for the Knicks. Well, yeah. Even though I, I don't own any, like, Barretts, I don't own any Quicklies. It's fun to watch the Knicks work. It's fun to watch the Knicks the fun, work. This has been the most fun Nick team I've seen in quite some time. I guarantee Doug will get it ready or else. <laughs> Rayski. <laughs> Rayski hitting you with the or else, Doug. Dougie's uh, pulled it out right now. All I would do is... Verify that all the cards are Well, right. that's what I'm... Yeah, I'm trying to yeah, make sure... You that. don't have to do anything else. I just want to make sure this is the right set for... Uh, well, that, that would help. That would help. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let me give it a quick refresh. A little refresh. One spot left. All right, it's gone, Doug. It's gone. It's, done. it's one spot left. That's happening. Yeah. All right, Doug, he's going to check it. He's going to check it. See if he can uh, guarantee it. I like how somebody left that one spot. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, you gotta give someone else the glory of closing it. You gotta share it with them. Gotta share the glory, Emma. Alright, this is definitely 54. Right. Step one. There it is. Alright, let's get this break. You got it, my cook. Thank you, brother. Uh, it would be pretty funny to leave it there, actually. Like, tomorrow comes, we're waiting to do it. Yeah, one spot, just One sit. spot, just sitting there. Nobody's selling out. Everyone's like, looking at each other like, who will sell it out? Who will sell it out? What's going on, guys? 1981 Tops Baseball Cello Pack 205. Good luck, everyone. Yes, two of these are off. Yep, you got it, Matthew. Nine. Boom, there it is. You got it, Timothy. I like it. That's seven entries, Timothy. Oh my gosh, just say you're say it. If you're doing the video, it's happening. All right, I will guarantee tomorrow Tomorrow will be the 1954 Bowman. There you go, that's what they wanted to hear. I had to make sure everything was here. I know, I know. Someone took the 54 out of my cart. I like that, Matthew. Cart snatched. Craig Nettles. Greg Nettles. Greg Nettles. Good play. I met him uh, ten years ago. Jim Beatty. Did he? Did he? Greg your Nettles. <laughs> he shook my hand. Oh man, not your hand. I got the last eight, I eighth spot and was trying to get the very last spot. Thanks. <laughs> spot three. Thank you guys. That's happening tomorrow. Spot three. We got Luis Pujols. We got Ron Gidry four. <laughs> Spot five. We got White Sox future stars. Can we put a double star or something on the last spot? We need to know what spot they get tomorrow. <laughs> a double star. Are you sure? I mean, I could have the freebie, but then there's no throw off system. Woo! Look, that gum, that gum burned the card. Look at that. that. Those are scorch marks. Ooh. You want some old gum, though? I'm good. It left scorch marks on the card. Oh, <laughs> this one's a fighter. No? Lily? Old gum? Oh, okay, okay. Emily? Emily? Nothing. Oh, okay. So the oldest gum we've eaten on record is 1959 Tops. No, 1959 Ted Williams pack. Yep. It was... It was... Scale smarty. It wasn't as gross as some of the other ones. Dougie's had eaten those gross ones. Oh, yeah. What was that one? 81 Donruss Golf. It was still moist. Yeah, that's horrifying. 40 years of moist gum. It's just, it's awful. To think it. He's yeah. the only one who eats that. Yeah. I've also done the, uh, I've done the one chip challenge. I've done the Carolina Reaper pepper. I hope the whole thing. Nearly died for a half hour. Who's regretting his life choices? Oh my goodness, I regretted every single one of them. No expectation to do that. That's just a... That's... My dash is showing that she's insane. Uh, I got you, Bill. Hey, Dougie. Yeah. Can you read Bill's comment and then um, make check it out for me? Um. If you need me to set it up, I can. It, uh, Bill, thank you for the help. Heads up, brother. Can't talk. Thank you for the heads up, my friend. Please give Bill a bam spot. And then if you want me to do it, I'm j I'll just remake it, and then I'll delete the old one. 
But I'll remake it for the same time so it'll capture the same names. Okay. Do you want me to do it? I'll do it after this break if you want. Okay. Okay. Um, spot eight. But you like you'll come over here, that way we can go over like what you did and then Alright. Spot nine. We got Dennis Eckersley. Dennis Eckersley. Thank you for the heads up, brother. Spot nine. Spot ten, we got Del Unser. Del Unser. Spot eleven, we got Carl Yastremski. Nice. Nice little Carl Yaz action for eleven. Twelve, we got Bob Lacey. Spot twelve. All right, guys, that was our 81 Tops Cello Pack 205. Thank you, guys. All right, so don't delete the old one yet. We're just going to make the new one first. Thank you. All right, also, so come uh, oh. well, There's the, the off ones. Yep, so. just uh, come over here real quick. I want to... All right. All right, so we're going to make... Or I'm literally just going to make, like, a... a Dirty version of it, real quick. Um, so, yeah, this is fine. I'll leave this blank. This, it ran from 7, seven 25, 25 to 8, ten. to 8, 10. This is the easy part. I know you how to do this. You set it to uh, uno momento. You did product quantity. I don't think I changed that. Or That's... product type quantity. Neither. I don't think I. I think I. So just... it's so right here. Product quantity uh -huh. is one entry for each spot purchased. Okay. So it's product type quantity that I want to check off. For right. So okay. So check that, and, and then separate. you right here product type. Separate. Separate. Yeah, that I checked. So you check this. You just forgot to check this. Yeah. Okay. So why don't you just edit it? So basically, what it captured was it did it ignores this unless you select this. Okay. Because so it's basically capturing dollar entries. Okay. So um. So I guess as long as I edit, I change that. You should... try adjusting it to click that first. Okay. And then see if it see if it changes it and updates it. If it doesn't, I'll make a brand new one. It's no problem. Uh, Matthew, I'll get you an update in a moment. We're just correcting something. Let me know when you change it. Alright, I just changed it. Alright, so. Yeah, like he said, he marks and fills on the wall with five spots. I see five here. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, not yet, Matthew. We're working on something, my friend. Give me a minute. I think it worked? Uh, I'm checking. Uh, I think it also worked. Um, I'm trying to find bonuses. It's fixed. Awesome. All right. That was easy. And, yeah, uh, there you go. Because I remember the separate. I just didn't, I forgot. Now I know I have to hit product. Okay. Yeah. All right. My bad, guys. Um, all right. Cool. Cool. Looks good. All right. Now, Yeah. I'll... update on the offlines. All right. Everyone wants to know. I know. I, the 50 of 50 is done. 50 of 50 is done. Uh, the Flash still has a few minutes left. Um, I'm willing to bet that the 35 at 100, if it's not done, it's close.
50 yeah, absolutely. Rayski says he forgives you. He had you distracted with the 54. I know. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Glad it's... Yep. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I, I got you. Uh, Matthew, I got you. <laughs> One moment. Appreciate your patience Matthew. and your understanding, guys. Matthew. That's why you're an awesome community. Alright. Alright, so the flash is still going. Yes, I need an update on 35 and 100. Okay. Because I, I'm willing to bet that it, if it's not closed, it's it closed. Has six spots left. Six spots left. Yes. Confirmed? Like, triple checked? Yes. Okay. Six spots left, guys. Six spots left. Six spots left. Open the club. All right, there you go, guys. That is as of right now. Chris Garcia, if you're trying to purchase, I don't know what happened, but it came up zero. Did my check? Can you just check to see if my thing went through to YouTube? Like, did did Matthew Townsend see that, like all of it, or did it I get cut off? You one moment, Matthew. We're checking now. And After then that, thirty-five at hundred. It does it say how many spots are left at Six the bottom? Spots remaining. At Perfect. The bottom. I, I want to make sure it didn't get cut off. All right. What's going on, guys? This is our 1993 Bowman Baseball 107 personal for Dino. Good luck, Dino. For Derek Jeter. Jeter. Well, Jeter action. We got Bobby Ayala. We got Rod Lofton. We got Daryl Boston. We got Philip Lira. We got Orlando Miller. We got Bob Tewksbury. We got, have a good night, Randy Myers, Javi Lopez, Manny Ramirez, John Jaha, Eddie Taubensey, Steve Buscelli, uh, Joe Oliver. All right. Do you know that was your pack, brother? Unfortunately, we did not hit a Jeter, my friend. I have a cart ready to go, but I want to make sure everything is not already filled. Um, Matthew, the screen is currently up. And let me take one last refresh before I say that. Okay, it's accurate. Boom. Communicated to me. Guys, I have a whole lot of vintage. Uh, sorry, I have a whole lot of modern that I'm about to start tearing through, guys. Uh, modern personals take me like 2.5 seconds to break. Yeah. 
So if you have anything you want to see break tonight, let us know. I'm about to tear through these. You see what's on my desk? You see it? Mm -hmm. I'm about to make this go gone. Get ready, guys. Get ready. Right, I'm going to go through the list. If I have it here, I will prep it. You got it, Matthew. Alright, here we go, guys. Actually, Dougie, I may, I'm going to need another shoot. Need another shoot, yeah. I'm going to fix this situation right Yeah. tear through these 2.5 seconds per pack 22 packs should take you about 55 seconds <laughs> all right all right Rayski. all right all right but well, dougie's gonna prep some stuff right now guys i'm about to destroy this uh dougie matthew picked up three spots in 35 at 100 okay so there are three spots remaining Uh, and, yeah, there you go. 2019. Guys, three spots left in 35 at 100. Who wants to close it? Who wants to put it out of its misery? I'll give it away as soon as it closes, guys. I'll cook something else up, too. I see you guys. You guys are animals tonight. I'll cook something up. Don't you worry. All right, guys. This is Chris Garcia's personal 2019 hoops. Good luck, Chris. S10 closed another personal soccer blaster, as I know you love to open them. Matthew, I took the time out of my day to type in the chat for you. <laughs> and you close a soccer blaster? He just loves... Bro! He just loves hearing you say those soccer names. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> hate it! Here, might as well just throw it out on the bottom. That's what like Chris Garcia. Sure. Yeah. Throw it on in the pile. Okay. All right, Chris. Let's see. Let's see what we got here, bud. Where are my rookies? Oh, Darius Garland rookie. That's nice. Gogo Batazzi rookie. Okay. Cam Reddish rookie. Okay. We got a. Second year silver DeAndre Ayton. We like that. We like that. A green Nikhil Alexander Walker rookie. I like that. Beautiful. Love it. Love, some, love me some Darius Garland. Cam Reddish. This was a pretty good box, Dino. Wait, no, I'm sorry. This was Chris Garcia. Chris Garcia. This is a good box, Chris Garcia. Goga Batazzi. All right. Por, por que? Why? Why? Chris. 
Chris is a good box man or good pack. I like it so far, brother. Let's see what else we got. I just bought all the Oh nice. Hey Dougie. Yeah. Twenty eleven Bowman draft. Value pack? Uh I'm not sure, but Chris Garcia said he closed it. Okay. I'll take a look at it. Thank you. We got Langston Galloway Laser. We got Andre Robertson Laser. And we got Jordan McLaughlin Rookie Laser. <laughs> Rayski. Rayski, I'm not sure where you go when you're not here, but I need you here all the time, man. Yeah, we must hang out. Yeah. You and Sean Dooley making oh. us laugh. Love it. Yeah, Rayski, you are always welcome in this community chat. Mike Green, too. Mike, yeah, I mean, everybody. Oh, everybody, but I mean, yeah. oh. 38. Chris Garcia, this is your 2019 Hoops personal, buddy. Good luck. No problem, brother. Chris Kale, I just, I don't. I don't want to open it. I don't want to, you know. Hello, how are you, Chris Kale? How you doing, my friend? Dougie, still three spots left in our 35 and a hunch? Yeah. All right, can you drop that in chat for me? I am uh, in the middle. Thank you. Let's see, Chris. Jackson Hayes, rookie. Kyrie. There's Basley rookie. I am pretty good, my friend. I am pretty good. Just hanging out, having another fabulous day at VB. We got Drew Holiday Green Prism. Any new Pokemon acquisitions? Huh. I've actually uh I've paused on my uh on my Pokemon set, Chris KO. I've taken a pause. Um, I think I've... Most of my pickups have still been Giannis rookies. Uh, I'm going to be making a few baseball pickups soon. I'm going to be making a few baseball pickups. All right, one spot left. In the 35 and 100. How many? One spot left. Guys, one spot left in the 35 and 100. One spot remaining. If anyone wants it, I'll give it away. I'll cook up a little extra promo. What would make the soccer pack even better? Dougie screaming goal in S10's ear after each card. <laughs> Not after each card. <laughs> Maybe for a hit. Uh... Maybe. <laughs> you could always be like Gilmore with soccer, and when you get a guy you can't pronounce, say that guy. That guy. I would, uh... No. No. <laughs> No, I feel like, like, you know, we haven't talked about it, right? But I think you guys enjoy my misery. I think they do. And I think you like it when I mispronounce names and sound like a two-year-old. <laughs> so, I'm just going to keep it going. Until someone says S10, this is unbearable, stop. I'm just going to keep going. Yeah, I don't think they're going to say that to you. I, like, if someone does, yeah. I'll stop. The first person to say it will save me from... A lifetime of misery. Yeah, that might be a while. Best part of VB. What's up, Crago? How What's are up, you? Crago. I'm just clearing out the shoot real quick, guys. Don't mind me. Did I hit break on 38? I think I did. break on that we just did 38 35 is happening now i think they asked about inception before i can get that ready sam canard 
Sam, this is your 2019 hoops. Good luck, buddy. Hey, Dougie, can you go through there and prep me the rest of these hoops? Premium sellers, real quick. There's a few more that are not in the shoot. Okay. Um, yeah, if you want to give me those, I'll break them real quick. And then I'll move on to like football. Basically, I want to do these in batches so I don't have to keep changing the title. Okay. Do you want the 2019 hoops? Premium sellers. There should be a few. I think there's like a couple that are scheduled that I don't have here. I already hit break on the ones I'm like my stack right here on the table mm -hmm. does not have any. So hoops premium. Uh, all right, I already hit nice. break. Nice. Um, okay. Rayski, that would take too long, man. That would take too long. Glad to hear, Craig. I'm glad you're doing good, brother. Absolutely. Looks like I show you one more. Okay. Nice, Kendrick Nunn rookie. Okay. Rui, Rui Hashimura. Uh, Nico, okay, sure. Yeah, you can party, I guess. We got uh, we got a high-voltage Nikola Jokic. Mark R is in. I like it, Mark. We got a silver Pascal Siakam. All right, uh, Chad Barnes closed out the 35 at a hundo. That's what I like to hear. And the flash is over. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Sounds good. 35 at a hundred. Yeah. We have a blue Auto Porter Jr. Really? Dun, 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 dun. Who, so who got the last spot, Dougie? In 35 at a hundred? Yeah. Uh, Chad Barnes. All right. Thank you. Let's see. Got anything in here, Sam? Had a nice laser Zion, maybe? Maybe a jaw? Actually, laser jaws are tough. I think I've only hit one. Oh, we've opened quite a few of these. Uh, PJ Tucker. Enos Cantor. And let's go with Kendari Weatherspoon rookie card. Not bad, not bad. Weatherspoon, I feel like I've heard him recently. I don't know. I don't, I've been, I don't recognize him. All right, well, I'm going to just card save him. I feel like I've heard some chatter about him. The Knights seem to start slow, but we are getting over the hump day pretty well now. <laughs> oh, Rayski, yeah. The, our Wednesday has been popping, man. Our Wednesday has been... A lot of fun. Always is here at VB. Always is. Uh, all right, let's see, guys. Dougie, mm -hmm. I know you're bored. You probably want me to hit you with another offline, right? I mean, you can. Oh, I will. <laughs> uh, all right, Dougie. Check it out. Check it out, my friend. Check it out. Check it out. This is going to be. Actually, let's give away. Let me organize my thoughts. Okay. I'm going to announce a promo. Uh -huh. We're going to finish this break. Then we're going to give away the promo that we just finished. Okay? okay. Sounds good. All right. We're going to do a 15 out of 100, Dougie. 15 out of 100. Okay. First place briefcase. is going to get two briefcases, Dougie. Okay. And I'll give... I'll give second place. I'll give second and second place a 250 bonus spot. Third place a bam spot. Okay. 15 and 100 for two briefcases, guys. So now until 8:45. Now until 8:45. All, right. All right. Let me finish this break real quick. All right, Mark, because you missed out, I'm going to include you in this. Yeah, absolutely. So, hey, uh, Mark, Mark R. Yeah, so Mark R., you missed the 35 at 100. Uh, someone beat you to it. Uh, you are the first person in the 15 at 100. Yeah. First okay. person. So 13 spots left. 
So technically, yeah, your spillage gets your kick, kick, kick this off. Yep, you're good, my friend. Yep. All right. Chris Garcia, this is your 2019 Hoops Premium Cello Personal, buddy. Good luck. Oh, okay, that's nice. I like that. You got it, my friend. You got it. Yeah. All right, we got Nicholas Claxton, rookie. Robert Covington. Isaiah Roby, rookie. Silver Andre Drummond. We got a grain Al Horford. Oh wait, is that a is that a hollow? Oh, there we go. That's a hollow. Nice. We got next Nikhil Alexander Walker rookie. Nice. That's a nice card. I really like. So when they did these cards. For the 2020 hoops, right. they did not look as nice as these. Like, look at this. You got the player going like, like, like I'm next. Mm -hmm. and, but like in the other one, it's like the player like walking away, or you don't even. I think it's like their jersey or something. That is pretty cool. These are. I actually really like these designs. Yeah, these are cool. dope. We got Isaiah Roby rookie, and we got Nicholas Claxton. All right, let's see what we got in our bonus pack. Alright, we got Alex Caruso, laser. We got Kelly O'Bray Jr. And we got Dwayne Deadman Laser. Alright, Nick, that is your pack, my friend. Thank you. Hey Dougie. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna run to the little breakers room real quick. I need you to give away the promo. Okay. The 35 at 100, okay? 35 at 100 for this is long stuff. Okay. I'll be right back, guys. Okay. Thank you, Dougie. All right. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. What's up, guys? All right. Okay. 35 at a hundo. Okay. Okay, here we go. What's up, Jack? All right, guys, this is the 35 at 100 for the chance to get two briefcases. Uh, second place gets... Did he put it on some notes? Let's see. Yeah, two briefcases. Second gets a briefcase. Third gets an exclusive wheel spin. Fourth gets the car, the Ronald Acuna. And fifth gets a VIP spot. Okay. Let's roll here. All right. Five and three is eight. All right, guys. Eight times on the random. Here we go, guys. Ooh, there's an extra space there. Hold on one second. Okay, let's do that. Take two. All right. There we go. One. That's two. That is three. That is four. That is five. That is six. Seven. And the winners are... All right, Rayski, Dom Mancini, JJ Grubay, Mark Rus Ruscoli, Matthew Townsend. All right, let me put you up on the board here. All right. All right, Rayski. Rayski, you get two briefcase choices, and then Dom Mancini gets to pick another. So let me write this down on S10's little pad here. Um, 
Don Mancini. JJ Grubay gets an exclusive wheel spin. Mark Ruscoli, you get a you get the Ronald Acuna Jr. Twelve and sixteen, you got it. Matthew Townsend gets the VIP. Okay, let me take a picture of this just so I have it. Okay. Awesome. Okay. All right, Mark, you get, and Dom wants 15. Okay, Mark. Scully, you get Ronald Acuna Jr. Very, very nice card. Okay. All right, Rayski, number 12. And number 16. And Dom Mancini wants number 15. Okay. Bam. Thank you, guys. Thank you all for participating. Okay. Okay. Is 85 Tops Baseball Wax Pack? Um, I think we're waiting on that pack to come in, Billy Goat. So, um, I think we are just waiting on that to come in to the office. So, all right. Okay, that is done. Um, I don't know how long Sam's going to be. I don't know if I should do a quick pack or something. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Okay, Sam is coming back from the little breakers room. Okay, so my Cunha. That was so happy. He's told you can't find anything. Yeah, I know. I went to a Target. No, I went to a Walmart about two weekends ago. Um, off the off the show picture of the shelf. I mean, it was literally cleared out. No basketball, baseball, football, hockey, Pokemon gone. The only thing I uh, think was there was. Um, Magic the Gathering cards, I think, was the only thing left there. Other than that, I mean, these shells were wiped. What was five, Matthew Townsend? Uh, VIP spot. Oh, you're you're on mute. Okay. Here. VIP spot was number five. There you go. There you go, Matthew. Yeah, I mean, I went to another Walmart, um, and uh, the cards were, like, right behind the one counter where, like, it was, um, like, ten or less, and, like, where the cigarettes are, and I, like, I just w went there to, like, just look at cards, and the lady's like, oh, you, you, you can only have two at a time, and I have to get them for you. I'm like, okay. So, all right. All good? Yes, sir. All right. Are you giving you, right. away? All, all giving away. And uh, who claimed their, did they claim their briefcase? All of them. Rayski got the two. Awesome. And Don Mancini got the one. Perfect. All right. Cool, cool, uh, cool. Mark Ruscoli got the Acuna. Okay. Um, yeah, I just got to give away the uh, the wheel spin, which will go on my list. And Matthew Towns got the VIP. You got it, you got it. <clears throat> okay, thank you. So my Duck Boys Instagram post. Just like, crossed over 1,300 likes. Holy crap. And it's still going. That's awesome. Dude, the Instagram's blowing up. That's good. We got one follow, though. <laughs> I know. I don't, I don't get that. All right. So, uh, I said I would do football next. 
Uh, we announced a promo, right? Did I announce a 15 at something? 15 or under. We did announce it. Yeah. Awesome. Do you Did you put it in the chat? Yeah. There's I mean, 13 spots left. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to find the promo. Just so I can copy and paste it on Here, I'll, I'll copy and paste it one more time so you can have it. Yep. Oh, I see it. Okay. We'll run it until uh, we'll run it until nine twenty, Dougie. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll run it until nine twenty. All right, I'll we'll just change the time. Oh. All right. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty dollars. I got 50 right here. Alright, change it. Your bag has his wheel spin. Awesome. Um, let's see. I have the five. Can I just. Oh, it's so close. Alright, perfect. Boom. Alright, guys. We're rocking and rolling. Uh, can you get rid of... Yeah. You have a troll in the chat. Just block the user. Bye bye Something went wrong. Try reloading your page. Did they already get blocked? Yeah, I, I got them. Alright, cool. Nice, love a good troll. You're not, you know, you're not popular if you don't have a few trolls every night. All right. <laughs> you're not balding, by the way. <laughs> oh, I, dude, I literally have hair in my face. I know. <laughs> There's no way I'm bald. Dude. <laughs> oh, that's a good laugh. Oh yeah. All right, let's get this break going. We'll give uh, actually. Uh, I'll give away the fifty at fifty after I finish these packs right here. Yeah. Uh, we got pack fifteen on deck. It's true. It's true. All right. Love the hair wave. <laughs> uh, we got twenty twenty Donruss Optic Cello personal fifty for Andrew Segal. Andrew, let's hit let's hit a Herbert. Let's hit a Herbert. Appreciate the love, guys. Appreciate it. We got Lamar Jackson, Cortland Sutton, Bobby Wagner. We got Josh Allen, DeAndre Hopkins, Adam Thalen. We got Kyle Duggar, rookie. Uh, we got Khalil Mack, Jamison Crowder, Matthew Stafford, Cooper Cup, and we got Christian McCaffrey. All right, that was Andrew's pack. Totally meant to type. They don't troll the nobodies. Well, I missed a keyword. <laughs> uh, it's uh, Monty. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I I I, uh, I I picked up what you were putting down, man. I didn't think you know. <laughs> Let's say, Monty, we're going to have a talk. <laughs> huh, interesting how you feel, Monty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, do we collect 50, 60 stuff? Um, I mean, we we buy fifties and 60s cards. Yeah, our company buys uh, all years. Um, me, personally, I collect modern mostly. I have a few vintage pieces. Um, definitely, I've been looking to pick up some uh, some vintage baseball players. It's just, you know, it's a little tough. A little tough. Yeah. I mean, we give stuff away all the time. You just got to uh, keep an eye out. Keep yeah. an eye out. We're actually about to give away... We're about to give away a uh, Duke Snyder. This just uh, this just closed. Uh, from uh, 58. Mm. 
We got 2020 Donner's Optic Football Cello Personal 49 for Sam Kennard. Good luck, Sam. That's right, Rayski. We got plenty. That's cool. All right. Good luck, Sam. Show me. We got. Oh, okay. We got a hollow CD Lamb rated rookie. Okay. We like that. We like CD Lamb. Five like CD Lamb. That's right. That's a nice one, Sam. Yeah. Didn't have the best rookie year because of all the injuries to the quarterbacks for the Cowboys. Yeah, yeah. We got Anthony McFarland Jr. rookie. Let's see. Okay, All right. That was your pack, brother. <laughs> Bonnie was like, you guys would be waiting outside my car with a sack of oranges. <laughs> Matthew, if you're in the chat, I'll do your blaster next. If you're not in the chat, Matthew Townsend, I will not be doing your blasting. <laughs> Let me know, Matthew. See, it was asking about trout rookie possible. Guys, stop helping. Shh, stop. I don't want to break soccer. I don't want to break soccer. <laughs> yup, POTUS is in the shoot, James Gotchall. I got you, my friend. It is. Uh... Yeah, James, I prepped the, the POTUS, so it's there. <laughs> PJ, uh, PJ, it's going to go down tomorrow, my friend. It sold out. That was your alert. Yep. Uh, just double check this for me. I took uh, two scrolls through the list. I didn't see it. Um, let me. We'll do POTUS. <laughs> All good, PJ. I appreciate it, brother. I have a feeling Sam would make a good goalie. Yeah, I'm big. I would take up the whole goal. I'd make a great goalie. All right. Let's refresh. Check for POTUS. POTUS. All right. Let's do it. Yeah, this one might have been done. Okay. okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Steve Dunham. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Wait, 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 let me see. Let me no, see. you didn't. Hold on. I don't believe you. Steve Venom, we're friends. We're friends. Oh. There's no way. No, I'm calling. No. Nope. He didn't do it. Stop it. Stop it. Put that look away, Doug. Go, go find another one. Get that face out of here. Okay. He really does, though. <laughs> Really? I thought we were friends. <sighs> bring on the bring, bring on the soccer. Bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> just, just bring, bring it on. Just bring it on. Just bring on soccer. Just bring on it on. Go on. Go ahead. Okay. Bring it out. Go ahead. Okay. Come on. All right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta find this stuff first. I hope you can't find it. Yeah, you're not that lucky. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, stop. S10 Pele. 
S10 and Pele are friends. <laughs> Better than Brandon Clark. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, tr- you know? Yeah, Pele is the, probably the greatest soccer player who ever Open played. the select. You need this, Doug? I mean, if they did, I'll check. Here, let me see. Uh, James, what are the hits? So, James, the first pack has typically all the hits. The first pack is an entire pack of numbered stuff. So, it looks like Mark R is getting that pack. Um, you know, a few other hits would be, like, if we manage to hit, like, a... What is this? This is historical DNA George Washington hair sample. Uh, that's kind of... I mean, I don't know why you would want someone's hair... Even if it is George Watt, I don't know. Uh, we got we got some autographs of some cool people. John Quincy Adams autograph, and then uh, the first pack, which is marked R, is usually is a, a numbered pack. You'll see it. It's like a silver pack. All right, looks like I got some soccer to prep. Oh my god, how much soccer? You know, it's almost nine twenty. I probably won't have time to break most of it. Yeah, I mean, the strongly worded letter might come from Charles if you go over. Yeah, I'm not going over. No, she worried. <laughs> All right, Mark, we got Latin and Greek. 246 of 299. We have 240 of 699. Abigail Adams. I believe that is John Adams' wife, the first, second first lady ever. That's right. I'm going bald, guys. Haven't you heard? Living grandson, according to the troll. 272 of 299. And we have American Antiqu Antiquits. Antiquits. Can't do it. Act of 1906. 67 to 299. All right. Dude, a Q in the middle of something throws me off. Can't do it. James Gottschall, we got Latin and Greek. We got Act of 1906, John Adams. We got No National Debt. Renovation of the White House. Barbary War. Calvin Coolidge. We got Holly Smith Tarif. Annexation of Texas. Chester A. Arthur. Pax here. Yeah, absolutely, Rayski. Absolutely. Alright, so that I will break after the 2011 and the Inception. Oh, we got a pack night. Uh, 15 and 100, Dougie? Is that, what's that, what's that looking like? Pack 3. There you go, Rayski. I like it, brother. Rayski, my uncle shaves his head. We got Pendleton Civil Service... Reform Act, Nobel Peace Prize, Thomas Jefferson, we got Herbert Hoover, we got Doss Act, we got John Quincy Adams, we got Lydon Johnson, we got Public Speaking, Living Grandson, and we got Grover Cleveland. Back four. All right, eight spots down, seven to go in the 15 and 100. Thank you, sir. Put in the chat for everyone. We have Mexican-American War, youngest president, James Madison, Franklin Roosevelt, Andrew Jackson, Slave Trade Act of 19, uh, 1794, Li Library of Congress, James K. Polk, Benjamin Harrison. I got nothing to embrace. I got nothing to embrace. <laughs> 
I would if I could, but I can't, Charles. We got Pan Am. We got Preservation of the Union, James Monroe. Harry Truman. We got Land Revision Act. We got Martin Von Burden. We got Wooden Teeth. War of 1812, Zachary Taylor, Grover, Cleveland, Pack 5. What is the best or coolest card you have pulled from POTUS Pack so far? We pulled, okay, so I haven't actually pulled any of, like, the big hits, but we pulled a, yeah, the other day we pulled the Washington Political Party, numbered, like, low numbered. Yeah. Uh, that was pretty, I was actually happy to get that card, that was pretty cool. But I haven't hit anything like crazy. Clayton, Bulwer Treaty, Trust Buster, James Monroe, uh, Eisenhower, uh, William Harrison. This this card right here, uh, Washington Political Party. I hit a hollow numbered version of it. It was really nice. Uh, ran unopposed. He ran unopposed. Military Fillmore. William McKinley. Pack six. All right. You can go back in here at this point. Okay. I'm not going to have time. Let's hit a trout. Yeah. What's going on, guys? 2011 Bowman Draft Value Pack 17. We're looking for Mike Trout. Good luck, guys. We got three. Forty-five minutes till VB West, guys. Spot one, we got Mike Wilson, rookie. Spot two, we got Jacob Turner, rookie. Spot three, we got Anthony Rizzo, rookie. Spot four, Jose Seta, rookie. Spot five, we got Dom Nunez.
Spot six, Christopher Lee. Any update on our offline, Dougie? Uh, still seven spots to go. Seven spots left. Okay. Spot seven. David, go forth. Spot eight. We got Jake Jarvez. Spot nine. Rene Tosoni, rookie. Spot 10, we got Madison Bower. Spot 11, Bruce Billings, rookie. Purple. I actually haven't seen this color. Is it numbered? And we got Mike Mostakas, rookie. All right, that's our 2011 Bowman draft. Thank you guys. I need to try to find a trap. It's hard enough. Dude, it's, it's so hard. All right, after this, we have 2020 Select Soccer. After this, we have 2020 Select Soccer, right after this. Give me one second, guys. One second, I just want to confirm. Okay. Okay. Let me show this. Okay, great. All right, perfect. Awesome. Very good. Very good. All right, 2021. Yep. There it is. Title is ready. Okay. What's going on, guys? 2021 Tops Inception Baseball Box 20. Good luck. We got a 10. Uh, yes, it did, Matthew. It's going to break after this. Oh, perfect. Awesome.
No, there was no bounty on it. Um, Matthew, there was no bounty. We have card number one for Manuel F. We got Jack Flaherty. Flaherty? Flaherty. What Dougie said. <laughs> it's Flaherty. Flaherty? We got card number two for Mike Rosado. Christian Pash, rookie. Christian Pash, rookie. Spot three, we have Joe Adele, rookie. Joe Adele. We got a nice card for spot number five. Richard Turner's in number five. Spot four, Antonio D'Archangelis. We got Dane Dunning, rookie. We got spot number five, Richard Turner, Luis Robert. For the White Sox, very nice. Beautiful. We have a rookie auto for Josh Andrews. We have Brian Garcia, two twenty four of two forty nine. Sorry, two twenty eight of two forty nine. Rookie auto. And PJ, spot number seven, we have Dougie's favorite baseball player. 42 of 75, Jose Altuve. Such a favorite of mine. And that was our 2021 Tops Inception Baseball Box. Thank you, guys. What's going on, guys? There are 2020 Select Soccer Box. Good luck. We got a 10 the hard way. KD's not playing. Might have been a rust line. How old is KD? Thirty-two. He'll be thirty-three in September. <laughs> Dude, he's ready for retirement. Well, he also he missed all of last year because of an Achilles injury. I so. know. That's what I'm saying. He's ready. Like between last year and this year, he's ready for retirement. Like these injuries are starting to uh, pile, up. pile up on him. He shouldn't be afraid to retire. Like he's he's he he's gonna he's gonna hit the Hall of Fame. Oh yeah, like without a doubt.
Did you know 4% of basketball players get into the Hall of Fame? Mm -hmm. that's, that's a pretty big percentage. Just like 10% of all the players that play in college end up making the pros. Who is injured? No one's... I don't, I don't think Katie's injured again. I think he's just resting. Pack one, William Zeltner. Artemis. Nope. Okay. Rookie. <laughs> nice. We got a rookie. Boom. Artemis Nope. From the Emphasis Nope family. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, we got Dennis Scherzev. Auto. We got Paco Alcacier. Auto. Sounds good tonight. From Spain. Pack two. For Matthew Townsend. Matthew also in the same pack, Matthew. 54 of 125. Orange. Andre Semenova, rookie. Nice pack, Matthew. Pack, that was pack two for Matthew. Pack three. We got Palmero, Ayana, Kane. We got a red, white, and blue. Mert Gunok, rookie from Turkey. Sleeve Kane. Okay. I got two different Harry Canes. These are different colors, right? I'm not crazy. I think they are, yeah. They're different. They don't say prism, but they're different. All right, you got two different Harry Canes, Harry, uh, Matthew. This is probably like a subtle variation, like um, like in uh, 2020 NBA hoops, mm -hmm. they have like red back variations right. that are like really tough, but like they don't, it doesn't say anything, doesn't on, say it. anything on it. But like the back is in red ink, so like, right. Right. so like. There you go, black and red, boom. Different levels, there's no indication on these cards. Except for the color variants, I guess. No way, no way in heck. You can't pay me enough to do that. Nope. Mm -mm. No way.
Can't pay me enough. You would just come out. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. 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 Pele, Pele. Willie's going home tonight and be like, I work with Those a bunch people of crazy were so people. weird. She's like, I, I work with a bunch of crazy people. <laughs> it's only day one, though. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Mbappe. 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 We got a pink Rui Patricio. God, we're only on pack four. <laughs> <laughs> it's so far to the finish line. Oh my god. Uh, this is Steve Venom's idea, too. I know. <laughs> I know. Damn it. Sam, I know you can fall down hurt just like a soccer player. <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> I mean, you fall down and get hurt. I have to take over. I mean, I'm not going to mind. Just, you know. Is what number? Yep. 75 and 99. 75. I can't even do this. Hold on. <laughs> there you go. Ah, oh, this is great. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be so dumb. Yeah, take me home. Take me home tonight. Magic spray. I'm scared, Steve. What's in the magic spray? <laughs> Fake it till you make it, Cal. We got Roman Zobin. We got Pavel Yes. Pavel Yes. Well, he couldn't say nope again. Some other guy's <laughs> that. Yeah, Nelson nope. Semedo. We got <laughs> Fabian Ruiz. Ruiz. Ben Davies. This is a silver. Wait. Ah, oh, whatever. I already put it in the card saver. Whatever. Nope. Nope. Oh. I wanted to say bless you, but I was like, that wasn't That's it. That's a hiccup. Yeah. Doug could be the next Pele of breaking. <laughs> a big hit. Go! Is that, is that a hockey player? Pele? Uh, it was a joke. It was oh, a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. Edel Hazard... Virgil Dijic, Ruslan Malianosovic. These aren't names. These aren't real names. Who played vowel darts again? <laughs> Who did it? Damn you, German nurses. We got Jakub Jankto, silver rookie. We got Alexander Izak. Pack six. Almost there. Halfway. Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, oh. Pray this one sooner. I like that beat. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> um, Donnarumma. Quincy Proms. Nacer. What is your name? Shadley. Shadley. Nacer Shadley Triumphant Patch. Done. We're, that's that's his name and we're sticking to it. <laughs> sure. Let me see if it's not. He's been renamed. Let's get a zebra. I know what that is. It's a referee, I think. Vowel darts. That's how we name uh, soccer players. We have 80 of 225. Gillo. This guy has one name. 
It's not no first, no middle, no last. Just a name. He is just Gilhermich. <laughs> That's it. That he is the Gilhermich. That's it. That's his whole everything. That's it. We did it, boys. Did please spell it and say it in a sentence. Never. <laughs> Never. You can't make me. Oh, my God. That's great. Once I'm done with this box, I'm done. Burning it. No. No. Well, I mean, I mean not Stefano the Stefano Senzi rookie. Not the car. It's just the box. Maybe. <laughs> they really, uh... I feel like soccer player parents do this on purpose to spite me. You, you silly American and especially that X-10 over there. Oh my god. This is for him butchering our names. And damn that dumb Andre dumb. Semnova. Rookie. We have Andres Sel... Tu... Ah, uh, nope. Mm, <laughs> nope. No. He, he, there's, there's too many letters and squiggly lines above the letters. <laughs> Ro Romel Lacco. Sure. Sounds great. 43 of 149. Gareth Bale. Green. Your name's too easy. You're not a soccer player. <laughs> You're a phony. You're a French big phony. <laughs> and we have Victor Nilsson Lindorf. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Three more packs. <laughs> Pace yourself. Four more packs. <laughs> Dear God. Almost there. We're almost there. I can. Trent Alexander Arnold, my new favorite <laughs> soccer player. You that was me. the easiest name all box. Andre Piatov. Oh no. Huh? Oh no. Oh. Julian Baumgartling. We got a silver, Christoph Piatek. Piatek. Final answer. <laughs> it. I'll tell you what kind of name is S10 Reiski. A simple name. A letter, two numbers. Done. America. S10. You can't even mispronounce it. Pr pronounce it. <laughs> This this soccer box got me all <laughs> it's got me all types of messed up right now. Seriously, I can't. I'm not gonna sleep tonight. <laughs> oh my god, Mrs. Rosenfield, what what is wrong with 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 you, Sam? He kept screaming, "Go, go, go!" <laughs> all night. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he did open some soccer last night. You know, it horrified him to beyond belief. Packed. <laughs> <laughs> Back ten. Oh please. Antonio Guzman. Alexander Gono Go nope. Marek Sushi. We hey David Alab. Sammy is Charles G on after your show tonight? I don't know, Donald. What do you think? Give me a guess. <laughs> we got Martin Braithwaite. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> you got a 50 50 shot of whether or not Charles will be on tonight. Little bit of the day. Hello. Hello. How are you? Is it me you're looking for? There you go. 18 minute warning for Charles tonight on VB. Kevin De Bruyne. He will have some sort of movie trivia. Kylian. Oh, we got Mbappe. 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 
Mbappe. Mbappe. Mbappe. We got Kylian Mbappe. Mbappe. We got Stefanzo Senzi. Rookie. Mbappe. My pleasure, Steve Venom. We have Venom, 20 of 25, Rainbow, that's hot, Dice Mertens, Dice Mertens, 20 of 25, Rainbow. And we got another rookie, Marcel Hulsberg. Okay. Pack 11 and pack 12. We have Fedor, <clears throat> Kudreas Shovach, <clears throat> we got Thomas Velik, Thomas Munir, we have 38 of 175, Alexander Isaac. And we got Danilo Payada. All right. That was your 2020 Select Soccer. <laughs> you can see how happy you are over it. <laughs> Go eat a bon me. Thank you, Steve. Uh, Venom. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I, I I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm going, all right, I'll just finish off. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> ah, four minutes left, guys, if you want to close out the 15 to 100. It's not that bad, Rayski. The second one was the second one is a lot worse than yeah, the first the one. the second one kind of takes the oomph out of you. I've been trying to get my shot scheduled. It's been, it's been tough around my area trying to find somebody. I'm tired. Oh, Dougie, what's the promo looking like? What uh, time is it? What uh, year is it? <laughs> oh, my. <sighs> it's 9-16. We have eight entries and seven to go in the 15 and 100. All right. Probably won't close. Probably That's not right. going to close unless these guys here decide to make one last ditch effort. Nice, Charles G. We had that yesterday, brother. Is that what we had? Ugh. Johnny and I enjoyed it. Doug did Doug. not. <laughs> Doug did not. Doug was, is hilarious, oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Next time, we'll just get you some roast beef and salt. Please. <laughs> I will take the roast beef. Oh, man. It's real. Bonnie is good, dude. Ugh. I guess to each of their own. Um, do you still have to give out the um, on the red one, the separate? Sony? Sure. Okay. I know you got sucked in. Goal! This. What? 
<laughs> they got sucked in the soccer. Oh. Uh, don't remind me. <laughs> I know. It's over now. Okay. Do I have any promos that weren't given away on here? The 50 of 50 has to be given away, too. Yeah, that one. For five prizes. The Snyder. No problem. All right, let's see here. Let's give away the 50 of 50 real quick. Okay. And 10. Here we go, guys. On the 10. Mark R. Getting the Duke Snyder. Dougie. Mm -hmm. Ryan Wilbeck gets a 500 high roller. Okay. Pam gets a 250 bonus spot. Okay. Mark R. And Ryan Wilbeck get BAM spots. All right. Thank you, guys. Congrats, Mark R. And Mark R. taking home the Duke Snyder PSA 4. Congrats, brother. Dougie, briefcases, right? Wait, did the separate bonus have a briefcase? No? I think it was wheel spin. Cool, no, so no briefcase. I don't think so. Cool, let's do it. Uh, I mean, let's let's do briefcases. Okay. Real quick. All right, guys. Uh, these were all the briefcases given away today. Um, yeah, I think that's because the last one didn't close. Perfect. All right, after this, we'll do, if we, we got to do this quick, though. Okay. So, uh, three. Three. We're gonna do briefcases real quick, guys, and then uh, if I have time, I'm gonna do the separate. Uh, briefcase three, Mike Rosado. I always wonder what tune S10 is whistling. You know, a couple different things. We have a gaggle for Mike Rosado, 60 set spot, 70 set spot, and an exclusive wheel spin for Mike Rosado. Seven. Seven. Briefcase seven for my man, Daniel Lynch. Good luck, Daniel. We got a gaggle for Daniel Lynch. We got a 60 set spot, 70 set spot, and an exclusive wheel spin for Daniel. Eight, Matthew Townsend. Eight, Matthew Townsend. Briefcase number eight, Matthew. Exclusive. Matthew Townsend with a nineteen fifty six set spot. Congrats. Nice awesome. hit, Matthew. Huge. Looking for that Mickey Mantle and other glorious stars. <sighs> Dom Mancini, briefcase number 10. 10 for us, Dom. For Dom. Let's see what we get, Dom. Hit me with that monster box. Dom, we got a 1970 set spot, 1961 set spot, and a VIP spot for Dom. Yes, Matthew. Number 12 for Rayski. 12 for Rayski. Good luck, Rayski.
Rayski getting a 1970 set spot, 61 set spot, and a VIP for Rayski. Number 15 for Dom. Good luck, Dom. We have a 1970 set spot, 1961 set spot, and a $1,000 VIP spot for Dom. Rayski 16. Rayski taking home a 1970 set spot, 1961 set spot, and a VIP. You got it, Matthew. Anytime, my friend. You're, my pleasure. Yep. And briefcase 19 for double E. There you go. <laughs> Good luck, double E. Yeah. Double E getting a 1960 set spot, 1970 set spot, and an exclusive wheel spin for Double E. All right. Now, guys, we're going to quickly do that set break bonus, and then we're going to turn it over to Charles G. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. All right. My pleasure, gentlemen. My pleasure. Uh, s there it is. Okay. All right. And you have the. You know what the prizes are. I have a. I have the far. Okay. All right. Separate flash. Good luck, everyone. Have a good night, Dom. Take it easy, brother. Thank yeah, you for coming by. Time. We got a five. We got a five. One, two, three, four, and on the five. Rayski, Mark R, and Matthew Townsend. So, Rayski, first place gets... Excl exclusive wheel spin. A exclusive wheel spin. Mark R in second. Gets the far. Mark R, you get the Brett Favre. I'll show it off in a minute, brother. And Matthew Townsend in third. Uh, gets a bam. Gets a bam. Matthew Townsend, you're getting a bam, brother. All right. Thank you, guys. Mark R, taking home that Brett Favre. Beautiful. All right, guys. That is our show. Uh, thank you, Weston. Have a great night, everyone. Guys, have a wonderful evening. If you're not satisfied and you want to keep breaking, you don't have to go anywhere, guys, because Charles G is going to take over from Vintage Breaks West right now. He's going to go live with you guys. He's going to do some beautiful trivia. He's got some fun activities planned. Have a wonderful evening, guys, and we will catch you 